technically. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, shit. But can it's okay. Xander, yes. I can actually hear you now. Yay, we did it. I'm just I, I want to work out levels and there's a couple opinions I can't know unless I have live people in the Twitch chat telling me what sounds good and what doesn't. No, that's cool. And so also what things should we be have open like uh All you guys got to have open is uh, Discord and YouTube to stream your... It's just YouTube. You just go to YouTube, NBC News channel. It's just there. You can watch okay. along. For a second. Or if you have you cable, do doing, that. Uh, the YouTube stream from us, are you? I'm doing the YouTube stream from my own computer. No, no, I mean the audio. Oh, no. You guys can do whatever you want with your audio. Hey, All you have to worry about is if you can hear each other and if you can hear... Uh... Whatever source you are streaming it from, or your own TV. <laughs> okay, well, if you're not hearing our gotcha. TV now, you answered my question. Is it the ABC radio coverage? NBC. NBC it Democratic TV. Now. What yeah, is, it's on. Your like, it's going already. Right. You guys can get in there. Oh, sorry. I have. I do Let have me know the, what you guys do. I do have the links. So, is a Pride commercial happening right now for y'all? Um, It's going to be different depending on when you tune in. There you go. YouTube.com, fucking there it is. That is not what I wanted. Well, you're fucked then, Dragon. No, mine isn't what I wanted. You <laughs> gave me what I wanted. The NBC News YouTube channel has the debate. Yeah, I put it in the chat if you didn't already get it. Okay. And this Go first figure if you search for oh. live debate, their thing doesn't show up. By the way, JT Cheetah, thank you very much for subscribing and making the song happen, because I was happy about mm -hmm. it. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet. Too much Wait, shit's been going on. Oh, a lot. Live at this moment. Yeah, we're going, Boozy. Everyone can hear oh, you. Oh, okay. You could also open my Twitch if you want to see the chat. That's all up to you, though. You guys don't have to care about the chat. I'll talk the chat, and if uh, if you can respond through me, if you want, or you can have up your own window. You can chat with I'm them. Streaming from my couch. I. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you pull out your phone and you get the phone app. Okay, let's turn on the audio from my YouTube feed to see if the this growing if everybody can freaking hear it. In this country, and as we saw Here we in 2018, go. they're mobilizing, they're learning the Ooh. political process. I have a drink rule list right now. The I'm key phrase is socialism. If anyone says socialism, I will drink. To talk about as being as oh my shit. god! I mean, I'm gonna join on this. Wait, I'm <laughs> is sort of bringing yes, together, Yes, you're here. Which I think is pivotal. Which is, <laughs> hey, somebody just. Oh my god. No, 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 it's fine. Sorry about that. <laughs> Education and health Thanks, Shiny. Is that better? Thank you for subscribing. Yes, that's a lot that better, Xander, but it could, you know it could get I'm still black, better more. I agree with my Hispanic brothers and As in, like, this, farther this away or quieter? Yeah. I think you you were blowing it out at first. And also, where do we stand as uh, yeah, 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 right? That's right. We see a no, live picture here of those candidates yeah. now How do I get taking the, the stage, and as we mentioned earlier, oh, I just gotta go to my channel, and then it's somewhere on there. I don't know. As a final thought, Zerlina, is there anything that we should be looking for Let me retweet my own tweet about this. Everybody in the chat, if you also want to go to my Twitter and retweet that it's happening, like, the one where I'm like, here's the link. I did not. You just gotta reload. It, man. Asked as a question from a uh, news organization's moderator until Hillary Clinton brought on. it up herself in debate. <laughs> there were no questions about abortion, there were no questions about financial You guys are supposed to have back of the easier free. job, so but it seems to work out not as that. <laughs> with Georgia and Missouri and all these other states I had to go through four computers to find to one that would actually hook up to my I TV and make this I... work. I know, man. It's crazy. Oh no, my stream went out. <laughs> no. I think that these candidates need to speak. And there's a little button you can see that says live, where you can skip ahead to the live broadcast if we ever get like desynchronized the or whatever. We've seen a lot of where issues come to the. It's right next to the, the like, pause. Into the next video. Cycle, we didn't really anticipate. Live. For example, reparations, right? Yeah, yeah. Or even yeah. the so green news. So if your stream messes up, yeah. click on live. That you would consider, you know, in your freshman dorm poli sci class, hey, and now they're probably going to reach the national debate stage. So, are there any other issues? Use Alex that we should look There's out a lot for. of speculating for going on. They're talking to Alex, whoever that is. <laughs> you know, I actually, <laughs> Let me not mute that. Just today. turn that down a little bit. Is just going to be there we go. Top of mind so guys, how is the audio? Chat, what do you guys think? Really go how is the chat? <laughs> 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 I 
Let me try and take, turn it down on my end. Can you hear positive, a different me? Vision yeah, you can for s uh, software turn that stuff down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Can Ooh. you hear the TV? Obviously can you hear us uh, talking? Yeah. Is it relatively press, balanced? Like when we shut and up, can you hear the TV? That, we heard those students say they wanted the style and they want the substance. Yeah, but how about that? Do they have the style? Holy shit. Do they have the grace? Communism for everyone. Absolutely. Communism for everyone. My coworkers are watching, I think. So hey. let's torment them. Oh Gregor, no! How is this, oh, my, how's my, this doing for audio? My thing died. Is this okay? Uh, it how's sounds pretty audio? good to me, Xander. All right, thanks. To me, it's all good. Yeah, hey, a Xander puppet. Yeah, gosh, I'm, I'm tempted to go get in a suit off camera. <laughs> face well, cam. Well, the lizard people say alternate face cam. We're good, a political baby. Political puppet. I think we are good political puppet. <laughs> That's right. Oh God, I hope this is not. It's one of the only people who can't see <laughs> you guys is really me. Like I can only see some of you because I'm trying to hide my uh, individuals. You have to my 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 the start. You can see those my Discord behind my own face. In the podium, you can watch well, sorry, behind NBC your guys' face is through a window thing. MSNBC. My screen is a total a nightmare at the moment. Look Zerina, at all these windows Sherman, I have open, everybody, Alex, and, and I've Jackie. organized them in us. my opinion We're going to have beautifully. A post debate show because we will be right <laughs> I'm back trying to do the right settings to do the right well and analysis from these guys. But for now, you should you should witness my nonsense and be amazed. Do it. It looks almost as cluttered as an actual, like, news... You know how every single live newscast has a thing going across the bottom and a timer in the corner yeah. and a date and a thing, and it's, like, there's barely any actual news <laughs> because it's so surrounded by shit? <laughs> That's what my screen looks like at the moment. There's a chat, need, like, there's a list of drinking rules. Good morning, everyone. I'm Lester Holt, and welcome to the first Democratic yeah, Lester Lester Holt. The 2020 race for president. Hi, I'm I always forget what Lester Holt looks like. It's our first chance to see these candidates go head-to-head -head on stage together. Maybe it's just they put them in weird in lighting or weird makeup. It always looks like a plastic Millard, man. Chuck Todd and Rachel Maddow. Voters are trying to oh, nail down where she is. the candidates stand on the issues. That's a white what sets dress. them apart, and which of these presidential hopefuls has what it takes? Well, now it's time to find out. Tonight, round one, New Jersey Senator Cory Booker. Oh, Cory. Secretary Julian Castro, oh, am I going to be York the City king Mayor of playback Blasio, Former Maryland Congressman John Delaney. Did anyone, el uh, anyone else watch Cory Booker play Pac-Man and talk politics? Just me. Okay. Senator Amy Klobuchar, Whoa, is he stealing our shit? Congressman Basically. Who? Who's stealing things? Cory Booker was doing Let's Plays President and playing, like, Moore. Ultimate Pac-Man. Ultimate Pac-Man? Yeah. <laughs> How dare they? I'm trying to figure out how to can some sound effects for this that my freaking Twitch throws off, apparently extremely loudly. Or I could just turn myself up, and then it'll seem less uh, quiet by comparison. Tell me if that works, Joker's friends and thieves. Yeah, how about this? I don't know if I can turn down the notifications. So if you guys want to destroy this, this uh, I was going to say a podcast, destroy this stream, subscribe and send me a fuck ton of money and it'll blow off all the sirens and no one will be able to hear anything. What? What's going to happen, tiny man? Oh no, anything could happen. Okay, I'm muting them for a sec. So like, you guys will see on the screen, you will see the actual action taking place in a little window. You'll see on the top right, it says drink win. Right now, the only rule is if anybody says the word socialism, we will drink. If you want to add to that, all you have to do is uh, like suggest some rules. And then I will tell you how expensive it would be to implement that rule. Like, if you want us to drink every time there is applause, it's going to cost a lot more bits than if you're like, oh, every time they say the American people or something, or every time they say uh, my fellow Americans or my distinguished candidate or senator from, you know, see what happens, see what the patterns are, suggest some rules. Otherwise, I'll just be kind of free drinking. Here we go. Please? Elizabeth Warren is talking. But this comes at a time when 71% of Americans say the economy is doing well, including 60% of Democrats. What do you say to those who worry this kind of oh, significant man, change could be risky yeah. to the economy? So I think of it this way. Who is this economy really working for? It's doing great for a thinner and thinner slice at the top. It's doing great for giant drug companies 
It's just not doing great for people who are trying to get a prescription filled. It's doing great Shots for fired. people who want to invest in private prisons, just not for the African-Americans and Latinx whose families are torn apart, whose lives are destroyed, and whose communities are ruined. We're it's not doing, doing so great, great for giant oil companies that want to drill everywhere, just not for the rest of us who are watching climate change bear down upon us. When you've got a government, when you've got an economy, that does great for those with money and isn't doing great for everyone else. That is corruption, pure and simple. We need to call it out. We need to attack it head on. And we need to make structural change in our government, in our economy, and in our country. Okay, opening statements. <laughs> you called programs like free college something you might do if you were, quote, a magic what? genie. Mm. To be blunt, are the government programs and benefits that some of your rivals are offering? Uh, yes, the genie Giving your what up, right wing liberals? Here we go. Sense of what's you actually achievable. For well, first, the economy. Uh, we know debate. that not everyone is sharing in this prosperity, and Donald yeah. Trump <laughs> just sits in the White House and gloats oh, about what's going on. Baby. We have so many people that are having Add trouble word, affording radical. college and having trouble affording their premiums. So, I do get concerned about paying for college uh. for rich kids i do but i think mm -hmm. my plan uh, is a good one and my plan look kim you could make it so rich kids don't get the free college it's not that hard oh, right um, and that. make sure that everyone yes. else besides uh, that <laughs> Uzi, oh my god then tell get help with their education uh, my own dad and my sister uh, got their first degrees with community college as many paths to success as well as certification secondly i've used pell grants i doubled probably for the best uh, from six thousand to twelve thousand dollars a year and expand it to the number of families that get covered up to families that make up to a hundred thousand dollars and then the third thing i would do is make it easier for students to pay uh time my stream went down again jeez this is gonna be a oh, mess no. it's gonna be a mess isn't it so oh. not only does the stream fuck up for me often every time i reload it now plays an ad oh no i have to turn off my chat this is a mess i'm sorry i'm looking at my stuff forgetting what i have not taken down to clear up some of the clutter on this also i'm missing better when we're talking is how much fundamental oh, no. change to the economy is desirable and right now we know that Beto. it is, and it's going to take all of us coming together to make sure on, that it does. Necesitamos incluir. Beto. Ah, oh, he started speaking Spanish, and that took my stream right down. Cada persona en el éxito de esta economía. Give me a high five, Beto. Pero si queremos hacer eso, necesitamos incluir okay. cada persona en nuestra democracia. Uh, cada votar, ca cada votante necesitamos la representación y cada voz necesitamos escuchar. Right now we have a system that favors those who can pay for access and outcomes. That's how you explain an economy that is rigged to corporations Look, and to the very wealthiest. A two trillion dollar tax anyway. cut that favored corporations while they were sure sitting are. on record piles on of cash and the very wealthiest in this country at a time of historic yeah, wealth inequality. Down. Xander, a new I'm democracy that is revived yeah. because we return power to the people. No PACs, no gerrymandering. You're just doing that with OBS, right? Oh, yeah. my life. Automatic and same-day voter registration to bring in more voters and a new Voting Rights Act to get rid of the barriers that are in place now. Work. That's how we each have a voice in our democracy and make this economy work for everybody. That, that's time, I can sir. tell he didn't memorize that response because he knew it in two languages. <laughs> that's how you know he was just talking from the heart. All right, Discord friends, I need uh, to make my computer work better. Or we need to try something. Can everyone sw uh, switch to push Thank to talk? Thank you for sure. the follow. What you said? Can you switch to push to talk, everybody? Is that in settings? Yes. Okay. Thank you for the follow. The revenues you need to pay for the programs we're that. talking about. That's time. Thank you. Again. 
Oh, no. I think we have a serious problem in our country with corporate consolidation. And you see the evidence of that in how dignity is being stripped from labor. And we have people that work full-time jobs and still can't uh, make a living wage. We see that because consumer prices are being raised by pharmaceutical companies that often have monopolistic holds on drugs. And you see that by just the fact that this is All actually right, an economy that's hurting small businesses and not Xavier. allowing them to compete. Uh, one of the most aggressive bills in the Senate to deal with corporate, consol corporate consolidation is mine about corporate yeah, consolidation in the ag sector. So I feel very strongly about the need to, that list to drink check words. the corporate consolidation and let the free market work. And <laughs> I'll tell you this, five drinks. I live in a low income black and brown community. I see every single day uh, that this economy is not working for I can average hear you, Americans. Uh, the indicators that are being used from GDP to Wall Street's rankings okay, is not working. helping people in my yeah, community. It is about time I both hear and don't hear you. works for everybody, <laughs> not just the wealthiest in our nation. We could drink for wealthy if someone wants to add that. You did say that you didn't think it was right to name Oh, Wall Street? Oh, my God. Throw up a thousand bits or ten books, and I'll Senator add Wall Warren Street, because we're going to hear that a million briefly. times. Why is that? Well, again, I, I will single out companies like Halliburton. I'm totally Amazon down with adding Wall Street. Nothing in taxes Who wants to pay for it? That. Huh? And when it comes to antitrust That's right. law, what I'm I will just do is a shake down. Point if you want the memes to continue, you must pay. Have a DOJ and a Federal <laughs> Trade Commission that will go through the processes necessary to check this kind of corporate. Every time I say I've seen, oh my God, fifty dollars. If you want to do I've too seen. Much of a problem with corporate power growing. <laughs> Because I'll be see, actually well, dead before the first United hour. And the way they're trying to influence Washington. It's about time that we have a president look, that fights for the people in this country like who time, need sir. to have someone that's a champion for them. Thank you, Senator. Senator Warren, I mentioned you. Are you picking winners and losers? So the way I understand this is there is way too much consolidation now in giant industries in this country. That hurts workers, it hurts small businesses, it hurts independent farmers, it hurts our economy overall, and it helps constrict real innovation and growth in this economy. Now look. Ugh. We've had the laws out there for a long time to be able to fight back. What's been missing is, not is just courage. Me? I have a circle of doom courage with, with in Washington to face. take on the giants. No, I see you. It's That's coming in and out for me. The corruption in this system. It has been far too long that the monopolies this is on have been making the campaign contributions, have, have been funding the super PAC. Uh, NBC. Oh my God, it just freaking dies. Not find. Refresh. Mine just goes down every once in a while. Yes, I'd like you to play, please, stream. Thank you. Monopolist and saying I have the courage to go after them. Thank you. Secretary Castro, the next question is for you. Democrats have been talking about the Alkali just realized, uh, Alkali, sorry, I'm going to talk. Oh, my God. Every time it's like, let me shut up and watch this. Dude, it goes down. that women are paid never fairly stop. in this country. Thank you very much uh, for that question, Lester. You know, I grew up... Um, with a mother who raised my brother Joaquin and me as a single parent. And I know what it's like to struggle. I know what it's like Castro. Uh, to like rent a home and to worry about whether you're going to be able to pay the rent at the first of the month. And to see a mom work very, very hard and know that moms across this country are getting paid less simply because they're women. I, like I would do several things, you, starting Fox with something we should have done a, a long time ago, like which doctor. is to pass the Equal Rights Amendment. There he is. Finally, in this country. Equal Rights Amendment, yeah, sure, and that's good. Also, it's not bad. So that women and are paid equal pay for equal work this in this country. It's past time that we did that. And, okay. you know, we have to do this. If we want to be the most prosperous nation in the 21st century, we need to make sure that women are paid the very best. what they deserve. All right, thank you. I want to put but the no same question to Congresswoman Gabbard. Your, your thoughts but on you equal are the very best. Yeah, well, first of all, let's recognize the, Hi, the situation we're in. That the American Lord. people deserve a president who will put your interests ahead of the rich and powerful. That's not what we have right now. Uh, I enlisted in the Army National Guard after the Al-Qaeda terror attacks on 9-11, so I could go after those who had attacked us on that day. I still serve as a major. Uh, served over 16 years, deployed twice to the Middle East, and in Congress, served on the Foreign Affairs and Armed Services Committees for over six years. Also, my hair looks like either Bride of Frankenstein or Rogue. As well as the terribly high cost of war. Glad to have met you, and Little for Island, for our leaders have failed us, taking us from one regime change war to the next, <laughs> leading us into a new Cold War. She just listed her resume in the middle of this question. Of our hard-earned taxpayer dollars and countless Hi, lives. <laughs> 
this insanity must end as president. I will take your hard-earned taxpayer dollars and instead invest those dollars into serving your needs. Things like health care, a green... E uh, more. Freaking A. Hold up a second. Who gave me money and for what rule? Say it in the chat. I believe you guys. I'm very trusting. I'm a trusting god. <laughs> To add Wall Street? Okay, I believe you. Every time we've got Wall Street, it's a drinking word now. It's also one of the cities in the country with the greatest gap between the wealthy and the poor. How would you address income inequality? Well, we've been addressing <laughs> income inequality in New York City by raising wages, by raising benefits, by putting money back in the hands that question, of like working Christopher people. Walken. Fifteen dollar minimum wage. Why paid would you sick address pre-K for people all? In Things poverty. are making a huge difference in working people's lives. But let me tell you what we're hear hearing here already in the first round of questions is that battle for the heart and soul of our party. I want to make it clear. This is supposed to be the party of working people. Yes, we're supposed okay. to be for a 70% tax rate on the wealthy. Yes, we're supposed to be for free tax rate. college, yes. free public college, free college for yes. our young people. We are supposed to break up big corporations. We oh, yeah, this dude. Our He's democracy. the great guy. I'm just remembering who this is. Everyone only wants him there because they're hoping he pushes everyone farther left. Like, that's his whole job. Like, he is definitely not going to win, but he is very left for... This, money field. this country, it's just in Thank the wrong you. hands. Congress we Democrats have to fix that. He's Delaney, awesome. Like, he's the best guy. <laughs> but he'll never I think win we need anything. To do real things to help I American like having workers him there. and the American people. Right? This is the issue that all of us here on the campaign trail. We need to make sure everyone has a living wage. And I've called for a doubling of the earned income tax credit raising the minimum wage and creating paid family leave that will create a situation where people actually agree, have Allie. a living wage that gets right to workers then we got to fix our public yeah, education okay. system Thank it's not delivering the results our kids need nor is that by the time we get our 15 dollar minimum wage 15 is going to be enough uh, career and technical training programs <laughs> yes. doing that you know i'm very different than yeah. everyone else here on the stage prior to being in congress i was an entrepreneur i started two businesses I created thousands awesome. of jobs. I spent my whole career helping small to mid-sized businesses all over the country. At what 5, point did he download them, himself 5, into that mannequin? I supported. <laughs> the Obama administration gave me an award for lending to disadvantaged just communities. I know how to create jobs. We need a short-term strategy, which is to put money in the pockets of workers with the earned income tax credit, raising the minimum wage and created paid family leave. And then we need to have a long-term strategy to make sure this country is competitive and we're creating jobs everywhere in this country. Governor Inslee, how would you address Yeah, they do not have the names on the TV well, and I don't I'm know who they are. I wish they put a caption. I think plans are great, but I'm a governor. And we got to realize the Amazing people who Jeopardy brought us the weekend, right, but a national unions, debate, no. need are going to bring Jay us Jay Inslee. They put it up for a sec when they take it away, though. America. And I'm proud of standing up for unions. I've got a plan to reinvigorate collective bargaining so we can increase wages finally. I marched with the SEIU yeah, folks. Like it is not right that the CEO of McDonald's <laughs> makes 2,100 no. times more than the people singing hash at McDonald's. And the next thing I'll do is put people to work in the jobs of the present and the future. He has that look, look of a dog Donald that's like, come Trump on, is simply the wrong. He's yeah, I was going to say he looks like oh, he looks a little, he's a little crazy. He's got something in, something in his eyes. He looks like a, he's a wild card. Carpenters. You could snap IBW's any second. Members, machinists. We're Steve doing it in my state today. And then we can he mentioned the America IWW. That's cool. Always does. <laughs> oh, my God. What is that? Yeah, International Workers Union, but I don't remember what the both W stand for. World Wrestling. <laughs> this is like your home state of Ohio. Can, can you make that same promise? Yes, I believe you can. But first, let's say the president came. He said, don't sell your house to people in Youngstown, Ohio. And in his administration, just in the last two years, we lost $4,000 uh, 4, jobs at a General Motors facility that rippled throughout our community. General Motors got a tax cut. General Motors got a bailout, and then they have the audacity to move a new car that they're going to produce. I swear I miss this guy. Like I know this guy in real I've life. I've had family members that have to unbolt a machine from the factory floor, and they're Canadian. Put it in a box and ship it to China. My area where I come from in Northeast China. Ohio, this issue we're talking about here, it's been going on 40 years. This is not a new phenomenon in the United States of America. 
The bottom 60% haven't seen a raise since 1980. Meanwhile, the top 1% control 90% of the wealth. Okay. We need an industrial What can we do about this income inequality? Saying we're going to dominate Everyone loves to building point electric it out. vehicles. There's going to be 30 million made in the next 10 years. But you can't, I want half of them made in the United America. States. You can't just say we're going to keep adding industry. jobs until Plan it goes away. Those here in the <laughs> Senator Warren. <laughs> Oh, they they light up the podium so you know who's talking. So we've had an industrial policy in the United States for decades now, and it's basically been let giant corporations do whatever they want to do. Giant corporations have exactly one loyalty, and that is to profits. And if they can save a nickel by moving yeah. a job to Mexico or to Asia or to Canada, with, with, with they're going to do it. Plans. So here's what I propose for an industrial policy. Yeah, Start is. with a place where there's a real need. Need. There's going to be a worldwide need for green technology, ways to clean up the air, ways to clean up the water. Yeah. And we can be the ones to provide <laughs> that. We need to go... T Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my streaming video quality down to, like, potato, and then maybe it'll run smoother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to NBCNews.com and, use that, and that has held they together way better than YouTube. Oh, you. that sucks. But from it. But they have to be manufactured right sure. here in the United States of America. And then we have to double down and sell it around the world. There's a $23 trillion market coming for green products. We should green be the leaders drink. and the owners, and we should have that 1.2 million manufacturing jobs here in America. We can do this. All right, we're going to turn to the issue of health care right now. I'd really try to understand That's whether some green may, new deal may not be daylight too. between you. Many people watching mm -hmm. at home have health insurance uh, coverage through their employer. Who shit. here Healthcare would time. abolish their private health insurance health in favor of a government-run plan? Just a show of hands to start off with. <laughs> All right, well. What if you don't have hands? Senator what if Clover, we have no hands, You're sir. one of the Democrats who wants to keep private insurance in addition to a government uh, health care plan. Right. Why is an incremental approach, in your view, better than a sweeping overhaul? Well, I think it's a bold oh, approach. Clover it's something jar. that Barack Obama wanted to do when we uh, well, were working on the like Affordable Barbecue Care Act, and that is a public option. I am just simply concerned about kicking uh, half of America off of their health insurance in four years. You don't just exactly kick them off of their insurance. You transfer them so to the new Medicare for that. All. Like you There's just a much bigger issue transfer in addition that shit. to that, it's and easy. that is It's not impossible. The president literally went on TV on Fox and said that people's heads would spin when they see how much he would bring down pharmaceutical prices. Instead, 2,500. Hundred drugs have gone up in double digits since he came into office. In Instead, he gave $100 billion in giveaways to the pharma companies. For the rest of what? us, for the rest of America, that's what we call at home, all foam and no beer. We got nothing out of it. <laughs> Did you get to and all so foam and no beer? And my is <laughs> yeah. to do something about pharma, hey, to take them like on, to, to allow negotiation under <laughs> Medicare, to bring in less expensive drugs Alrighty, from other I mean, countries. I mean, and pharma analogy. thinks they own Washington. Well, Go they don't it. own me. The time is up. Thank you. Similar joke. coverage. <laughs> is that oh, the man. plan or path that you would pursue as president? Let's talk about So, Bernie. yes, I'm with Bernie on Medicare for all. And let me tell Yay, you Medicare for all. I spent a I spent a big chunk of my Ooh. life studying why families go broke. And one of the number one reasons oh, no, is the cost of health care, yeah. medical bills. <laughs> That's what time it is. Who don't have insurance. It's for people oh, who have insurance. Look at the business model of an insurance company. It's to bring in as many dollars as they can in premiums and to pay out as few dollars as possible for your health care. That leaves families with rising premiums, rising co-pays, and fighting with insurance companies to try to get the health care that their doctors say that they and their children need. Medicare for all solves that problem. And I understand. There are a lot of politicians who say, oh, it's just not possible, we just can't do it, it's, have a lot of political reasons for this. What they're really telling you is they just won't fight for it. Well, health care is a basic human right, and I will fight for basic human rights. I am, by the way, I'm totally fine with, uh, war, uh, with Warren and Bernie kind of stealing each other's ideas and trying to one-up each other. That's fine with me. Completely okay with that. This year you're saying you're no longer Yeah, basically the same stuff in different words. My like goal Bernie's free college now, like that forgive all that. Sorry, I better stop. Well, well enough to live to their full potential because they. Mm. 
for once in his life. And on that visit, he was told he had diabetes, he was told he had glaucoma, and he was told untreated because he doesn't have health care, he'll be dead before the age of 40. So getting to nah. guaranteed, high quality, universal health care as quickly and surely as possible has to be our goal. The ability to afford your prescriptions and go to a primary care provider, the, the ability to see a mental health care provider. In Texas, the single largest provider of mental health care services is the county jail system yeah. today. And health care also has to mean that every woman can make her own okay, decisions Beto, about her own going body on that and has access thing. to the care that. that makes that possible. Why is that weird, Beto? <laughs> What else is that about prison? Our plan Beto? says that if you're uninsured, we enroll you in Medicare. If you're insufficiently Keep insured, you going, can't afford Beto. your premiums, we enroll you in Medicare. <laughs> but if you're a member of a union that negotiated for a health care plan that you like because it works for your you and your family, ah, you're able choice. to keep it. We preserve choice by making sure that everybody ah, has time is up, Congressman, but I do want to ask you for a time is up, just, just to be replaced. <laughs> no, I, I think that choice is, is fundamental. It's totally a super building. Private insurance is not working for tens of millions of Americans. When you talk about the co-pays, the deductibles, the premiums, the out-of-pocket expenses, it's not working. That's right. So for those that's not working, they can choose there Medicare. Is. For the culinary workers in you the who I listen to, who the negotiated for those working plans, for people. Uh, they're able to keep them. Why are you defending Americans private insurance? Say they like their private health them. insurance, by the way. It should be noted that 100 million Americans, I mean, I think we should be the party that keeps what's working and fixes what's broken. I mean, doesn't that make sense? I mean, we so should give what aspect everyone are you referring in this country health care as a at basic the human right for free. I'd love to know Full this stop. as well. But we should also give them the option to buy private insurance. Why do we have to stand for taking away something from people? And also, it's bad policy. If you go to every hospital in this country and you ask them one question, which is how would it have been for you last year if every one of your bills were paid at the Medicare rate? Every single hospital administrator said Hell they cheap. would close. Okay, then and close. The You're not in the right business, I guess. Requires Maybe if the government kept the hospital Medicare going, rates. that would fix all so of this shit, wouldn't it? We're basically <laughs> supporting a bill that will have every hospital Darn, closed. My, my dad was a union electrician. Down. Right, I actually grew up in a working class family. He loved the health care that the IBEW gave him. And I just always think about my dad and anything I would do. <laughs> the doctor said, look, if I can't shake them down for every job, penny they're worth, John, what's the point of even being a doctor? Well, why are you taking my health care I've this plan a little bit because it's, <laughs> I'm fascinated to hear the daylight between you. Congresswoman Gabbard, yes. why are you weigh in here? I think we're talking about this in the wrong way. You're talking about one bill over another bill. Really what we're talking about is our objective, making sure that every single sick American in this country is able to get the health care that they need. I believe Medicare for all is the way to do that. I also think that employers will recognize how much money will be saved by oh supporting God. a Medicare Take all the money you're spending on people's health care and just put it in their fucking paycheck. Reduce the administrative costs, reduce the bureaucratic costs, and make sure that everyone gets that quality health care that they need. I also it's think it's if, you, if you look at other uh, countries in the world who have universal health care, every one of them has some form of a role of, of private insurance. I think that's what we've got to look at, taking the best of these ideas, you can but keep making your sure Cadillac unequivocally insurance if you can afford that it. no sick American goes without getting uh, the care that yeah. they need, regardless of how much or little money they have in their pocket. Congresswoman, let, let, me, let me turn to Senator Booker on this. Senator Booker, explain to me where you are. This is Booker, hugely important to people, so for? tell us where you are. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely will. First of all, we're talking about this as a health care issue, but in Booker, communities like mine, low income slow communities, or fast not, it's an education Pac-Man. issue because kids who don't have health care <laughs> are not going to succeed in school. It is an issue for jobs and employment because people that do not have good health care do not succeed at work. It's even a retirement issue because in my community, I've added a rule we're going to drink whenever they yell over each other. Life expectancy because yes. of poor for more than like three seconds. So where I stand is oh, very more than one good. second. Health care is not oh just a God. human right; it should be an American right. And I believe the best way to get there is Medicare for all. I but I have an urgency about, about this. When I am president of the United States, I'm not going to wait. We have to do the things immediately yeah. that are going to provide better care. And on this debate, I- I'm sorry. There are too many people profiteering off of the pain of people in America, from, from pharmaceutical companies profiteers just to like insurers. Three musketeers. Literally, the overhead for <laughs> the insurers three that they charge is 15%, <laughs> Turner, while Medicare Trump and, uh, overhead is only at 2%. So we can do this money. better, and every yes. single day I will be fighting Bezos. to give people more access King and more Bezos. affordable costs until we get to my goal, right, which is every Senator. American time having health care. Time is up, I want to I move back, Senator, if I can, to Congress. Senator, your time is up. Let Elizabeth talk. The insurance companies last year alone 
sucked $23 billion in profits yeah. out of the health care system. $23 billion, and that doesn't count. The money that was paid to executives, the money that was spent lobbying Washington. We have a giant industry that wants our health care system to stay the way it is. With because it's not money, working for families, but it sure is working for Governor, Governor Inslee. It's time for Governor us Inslee. to make families come first. It should not be an option in the United States of America oh, for no. any insurance company to deny women coverage for their exercise of their right of choice. And I am the Oh, we're going to abortion, guys. Surprise, we're going. Who has passed a law <laughs> protecting a woman's right of reproductive health and health it's insurance. It's happening now. <laughs> and I'm the only candidate <laughs> who's passed well, that usually does come up by surprise. And I respect <laughs> everybody's goals Sorry. and plans said, here. But we do have ready. one candidate that's <laughs> actually against the ball. <laughs> And we got to have two cents for everyone. I've done it as a public guy. Senator, 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 Senator Close, I want to give you a vote hangers ready. Ah, uh, drink, they're talking. Senator, Jesus. Senator, Senator, Senator. I just want to say there's three women up here that Thank are fought pretty hard for women's right to choose. Look, Klobuchar, you can't just say I'm a woman, therefore I have a better abortion opinion than you. Universal health care. Some women have very and bad opinions on abortion rights. The idea I put out there, the hey public option, which the governor was just talking about, this idea is that you use oh God. Medicare mm. or Medicaid without any insurance companies involved. You could do it either way. Uh -huh. And it, the estimates are 13 million people would see a reduction in their premiums. 12 more million people would get covered. So I think it is a beginning and the way you start and the way you move to universal health care. Uh, universal health care? I thought you didn't want that, Amy. This one for you. All of you on stage support a woman's right to an abortion, you all support some version of a government health care option. Would your plan cover abortion, Mr. Secretary? Uh, yes, it would. Uh, I don't believe only in reproductive uh, freedom. I believe in reproductive baby. justice. <laughs> and, Straight to you. have some you good, know, what that good means things. Is that just because a woman, or let's also not forget, someone in the trans community, trans? a trans female, oh, tra I'm uh, Jesus Christ, I'm is poor, me. doesn't mean they shouldn't have the right to exercise that right to choose. And so I absolutely would cover the right to have an abortion. More than that, uh, everybody in this crowd and watching at home knows that in our country today, a person's right to choose is under assault in places like Missouri, in Alabama, in Georgia. I would appoint judges to the federal bench that understand the precedent of Roe v. Wade and will respect it. And in addition to that, make sure that we fight hard. Boozy, as we you're like screaming into a tornado right now. To one where everybody can get and exercise that right. Senator Warren, Question. would you put limits on uh, any limits on abortion? I Limitless. Would make certain that every woman has access to the full range of reproductive health care services, and that includes birth control, it includes abortion, it includes everything for a woman. And I want to add on that, it's not enough for us to expect the courts to protect us. True. 47 years ago, Roe versus Wade was decided, and we've all looked to the courts all that time, as state after state has undermined Roe, has put Why in exceptions, has come right up to the edge of taking away protection. Your time is up, Senator. We Let's now start. have an America where most <laughs> people support reaction. Roe versus Wade. We need to make that Senator federal Gerber. law. Thank you. Jose? Yes, sir, thank you. Senator she Booker, she appeared to be stunned by him for a second. We were having about health and the oil. No joke, a bolt of lightning you, just cut uh, out my internet. A state where uh, 14 of the 20 okay. largest pharmaceutical companies are based. Should pharmaceutical companies that manufacture these drugs be held criminally liable for what they do? Yeah. They should absolutely be held criminally liable because they are liable and responsible. Like specific people, not just fines. Well before I was running for president, I said I would not take okay, contributions okay, from pharma okay, companies, not take contributions <laughs> uh, from like, corporate companies. You have to get your company taken away. Because they are part of this problem. And this opioid addiction in our country, we in cities like mine have been seeing how we've tried to arrest our way out of addiction for too long. It is time that we have a national urgency to deal with this problem Thank and make the solutions that are working to actually be the law of our land and make the pharmaceutical companies that are responsible help are to, to, to pay for that. Congressman O'Rourke, uh, how would you do? Based on recent national emergencies? Tonight in this country you have 2.3 million oh no. Oh no. fellow Americans behind bars. It's the 
largest prison population on the face of the planet. Oh, Many jail are time. There Here for we go. Nonviolent drug crimes, including possession of marijuana, at a time that more than half the states have legalized it or decriminalized it. I feel like it. talking about how weed yet, should be legal is like too Purdue easy Pharma at this point. Like we, has we all done know. Okay. Connection to the opioid crisis and the overdose <laughs> deaths that we're seeing throughout this country, they've been able to act with complete impunity and pay no consequences, not a single night in jail. Unless there's accountability and justice, this crisis will continue. In my administration, we will hold them to account. We will make sure that they pay a price, and we will help those who've been victims of this malfeasance in this country, get them treatment and long-term care. I know immigration is on a lot of your minds here, and I want to talk about it. We're going to talk about it in a moment. Break we need time. to take a break. We'll be back with more from Miami time. after this. So the president said he was going to be live tweeting this, but he hasn't tweeted anything uh, in oh, two hours. He probably took away his fucking phone. <laughs> I hope they did. Or what if they just gave it to a staffer, Good like, here, tweet better than him, please. Lester Holt. Oh, let me mute this. In the story. It sounds like a gen- oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, sorry, chat. Jeez. So, Pepper, thoughts thus far? I mean, I, I, I wish I remembered his freaking name, but the guy who got up there and immediately was like, look, we're supposed to support 70% tax on super rich people. We're supposed to support abortion. We're sup like that dude, the dude who's only there to push them left. He's, I forgot about him until just now. And I'm like, yeah, great. Like, he, he just keeps jumping in being like, look, what about this? <laughs> and I appreciate him being there. He's fun so far. Who's the guy on the far right who's just deer in the headlight the whole time? The, the Every time Beto brings up jail. <laughs> I don't know. Every time Beto brings up jail, let's do it. Sorry, the chat just paid for me to add. Every time Beto brings up jail, Beto Thank you for the follow. brings up. You know, what? I'm gonna give you guys a a a a posthumous, not posthumous, it's the wrong word, a latent <laughs> drink on that. I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink uh, for that one. Drink. If you guys have a shot, feel free to pour it and join me in it. I'm doing this voluntarily. Police can't come after me. Boot the uh, no. <laughs> well, I'm drinking scotch, so I ain't shooting that. But I do have some bullshit whiskey nearby, so I'll be back with video to do that. Back with video. <laughs> Prove wait, wait, okay, your so shot. We're on break. Quick, really how? Really, oh, it's coming back live. like right oh, now. Oh, yes, troubleshooting. I have the virtual cam working. How do I get a zoom in thing to happen? Oh, it's gonna be a filter. Look under filters. Click right click and apply a video filter and one of them should be zoom or crop at the very least and if you no, crop no. it and blow yourself up you'll be zooming technically. <clears throat> Dragger, you can you in OBS you can uh, uh right click to an issue that camera has been in the man. news especially this okay. week. Okay. There are undocumented children being this is a shot. Here we go. alone okay. in detention. Even as Wait, Pepper, I'll do it Florida. with you. Just give me right a second. You do it already. Miles from where you are tonight. When you double click Fathers your video, I did it. I'm sorry. I couldn't stop. Are dying <laughs> oh. trying to enter the United States. Ooh, of America. We're here. We saw that image today that broke our <laughs> That is Xander with the weed names. flag. Also no, no. Martinez Immigrant children dying. 23 month old daughter hey, by name dying. Trying to cross the river to ask for asylum in this country. I used to have to wait a few Last months. Last month, more than 130,000 migrants were yeah, apprehended like, at the southern border. Uh, That's a sad question, but it's very Secretary it's Castro, if you were president today, sure. oh, yeah. what would you specifically do? Back on. Drink when oh, they say Thank you very much, uh, Jose. I'm very proud that in April I became the first candidate to put forward a comprehensive immigration plan. We <laughs> saw those images. <laughs> Watching that image of, of Oscar and his daughter Valeria uh, is heartbreaking. <sighs> It, should it is. I don't want to make jokes off. over this, but fuck. If All I were right. president today, bring, bring it. and it should spur us to action, if I were president today, I would sign an executive order that would get rid of Trump's zero tolerance policy, the remain in Mexico policy, and the metering policy. This metering policy is basically what prompted Oscar and Valeria to make that risky swim across the river. They have been playing games with people who are coming and trying to seek asylum at our ports of entry. Oscar and Valeria went to a port of entry and then they were denied the ability to make an asylum claim. So they got frustrated and they tried to cross the river and they died because of that. On day one, sorry. On day I'm one, I would do that seconds. executive order that would address metering and then I would follow that up in my first 100 days with immigration reform that would honor asylum claims that would put undocumented immigrants as long as they haven't committed a serious crime on a pathway to citizenship and that would go to the root cause of the issue, which is we need a Marshall Plan for Honduras and Guatemala and El Salvador 
so that people can find safety and opportunity at home instead He's not of wrong, in the but United States. Man, he sure it. pronounced Senator those countries' names hard. <laughs> And this and is a situation where the next president will... It's like Alex Trebek when they give him French words. Come to the list. <laughs> James' <laughs> idea is stupid because it will create a... Oh my God, he's doing it too! President ha atacado, Holy shit. ...ha uh, demonizado los inmigrantes. It's inacceptable and voy a cambiar el resto. This On is a day pronunciation one, contest. I will make sure... Cory Booker's got a better accent than Beto so far. ...and the ice policies and the customs and border Castro policies... Castro obviously is the best one. <laughs> When people come to their, this country, they do Please. not leave their human rights at the Let's border. Hear your Number two, <laughs> I will make sure that we reinstate DACA, that we reinstate pathways to citizenship for DACA recipients. Or he learned Spanish sure over the break as a rebuttal. Temporary protected status <laughs> can stay and remain he just downloaded here. It and then finally, he's a Matrix we guy. He just zaps into his head. Sure that we address the issues that made Oscar and Valeria come in the first place by making major investments it's in Oscar the new like this president is doing by ripping away the resources we need to actually solve this problem. We cannot surrender our values. I mean, I know what they're trying to do, but it feels like pandering security. to me. I'm not sure we if I'm wrong on that. I'm not the group being pandered to. Values. We must sure. fight for both. Well, well, say if, I might, if I might, very briefly. Did someone just scream Spanish? Point, you know, my plan, and I'm Spanish glad to shop. see that Senator Booker, Senator Warren, and Governor Inslee agree with me on this. My plan also includes... Again, nothing wrong with speaking Spanish. It just feels like pandering to me. ...of the Immigration and Nationality Act. To go back to the way we used to treat this, when somebody comes across the border, not to criminalize desperation, to treat that as a civil violation. Oh no, I'm saving the robot for automation. And here's why it's important. <laughs> Holy crap, they haven't said any of our buzzwords. We suck at this. They use that law, Section 1325, to justify under the law Castro separating little children law. from their families. Jose, and so I want to challenge every single candidate on this stage to support the repeal of Section 1325. Jose, my, my 30 seconds. I, 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 like, he's friend, a good talker. Said, I agree with him on that issue. He doesn't have much to say other than, like, it's sad when people die for no reason, which obviously... It doesn't just go on at our border. It happens in our communities. It's but, like, what are we going to... ripping away parents from their American children, spouses and the like, and are creating fear. And he's going to undo some Trump country, stuff, but obviously we're all going to undo the Trump stuff. their kids off to school or go to work. We but must end we those policies as well. We discussion about immigration Mayor. in this country, because look at the bottom line. Here he is. Those he's the guy. That tragic photo of those... That parent, that child, and I'm saying this as a father. Every American should feel that in their heart, and every American should say that is not America. Those oh, no, that's Bill de Blasio. This crisis <laughs> not that guy. in our system because we're not being honest be about the division that's been fomented in this country. The way that American citizens have been told that immigrants somehow created their misery and their pain and their challenges. For all the American citizens out there who feel you're falling behind, who feel the American dream's not working for you, the immigrants didn't do that to yeah. you. Yeah, maybe I just like Bill de Blasio more than I thought I did. <laughs> well, he's got to make a huge impact, man. Like, if you, if you're we not need mean, to be the party of working this. people, and that oh. includes a party of immigrants. But first, we have to tell working people in America who are hurting that we're going to be I mean, on this their is how side we New York. every single time against True. those big corporations who created this mess to begin with. And remind people we're all in this together. If we don't change <laughs> he has shown that his debate, teeth a lot, I agree, politics K-Y. that's holding us back, we won't get all these reforms people are talking Just about. That's what we need to do as Democrats. Congresista O'Rourke, what would you do in the first day if you don't know the reality that is happening? What would you do, Congressman, day one at the wall? No, make him answer without telling him what it means. Who can pronounce Spanish humanos. with the best accent? We would not turn back Valeria and her father Oscar. We would accept them into this country and follow our Oscar. own asylum laws. We would not build walls. We would not put kids in cages. In fact, we would spare no expense to reunite the families a lot of that have been families. separated already. Congressman, and we would not criminally would prosecute any family because you're just saying that the repeal of Section 1325. We would make sure... Secretary, let him finish. Hey, 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 let him finish. finish. Let him finish. Hey. Hey. Yes. You're not dying in we a would not tornado, are you? Any oh no, the sun is in my cam. In fact, fleeing the deadliest <laughs> countries on the face God. of the planet what today. What can I do? We would implement a family case management program so they could be cared for in the community at a fraction of the cost. Than I and then we would rewrite oh, he's very good talker. laws in our own image. Concerning. Free dreamers <laughs> that is a very good talker. fear of deportation by making them U.S. He's citizens here in this country. Uh, Invest yeah. in solutions in Central America work with regional stakeholders so there's no reason to make that 2,000 mile journey. Secretary, I'll give you 30 seconds. Let's be very clear. 
Elizabeth the hasn't talked in a couple they're minutes. Separating these little children from their families is that they're using Section 1325 Liz, of that act, the mic out of his which hand. criminalizes coming across the border to incarcerate the pre the parents and then separate them. Some of us on this stage have called to end that section, to terminate it. Some, you hit that like Jeopardy Congressman O'Rourke, have not. In. And I want to challenge all of the candidates <laughs> to fact, do that. I, I just think it's a mistake, Bethel. I think it's a mistake. And I think that, that if you truly want to change the system, then we got to repeal that section. If not, Thank you. then it so might as well be the same policy. Let, let, let me very very respond to this very Split briefly. Screens. Actually, as a member of Congress, I helped not to introduce legislation that would ensure that we don't criminalize those who are seeking asylum and refuge I'm in this country. If you're about, fleeing, I'm not talking if you're about fleeing the ones that are seeking asylum, then I want to make about, sure. I'm talking I want to about everybody drinks. They're talking over each other. I'm still talking about everybody else. But you're looking at just one small part of this. I'm talking about a comprehensive rewrite of our immigration laws. That's not true. And if we do that, good. But you can do both. You can repeal that bad. I'm talking about, right. laws I'm talking about millions country. of folks. A lot of folks, folks that are coming are not seeking folks. asylum. A lot Who wants to give me $100 for folks? Right? And what? you said recently that's that not the Andrew Yang. you didn't want to repeal <laughs> Section 1325 <laughs> was because but the chat thinks uh, that's Andrew Yang. about human trafficking no, and, and drug trafficking. But let me tell you what. That's, that's, that's Cortez. Section 18, Cortez Title 18 Cortez of the U.S. Code, Title 21 and Title 22 already cover if human trafficking. If you did your homework on this issue, you would know that we should repeal this section. This is an issue that we should be talking about for a long time, and we will. For a long time. Can we talk about the conditions for why gonna, people are coming here? Let's let's. Uh, no ask you about it. Because, <laughs> here he is. Savannah, really? sorry, Savannah. Is know, that even Bill? It's just we could go on. I but rather than talk about specific languages, we really have to talk about why these people are coming you'll to our country and what are we going to do to actually make a difference in these countries. Congressman, you'll get your chance. Let's continue the discussion. Senator Klobuchar, yes. let's talk about uh, what Secretary Castro said. I like said. her the least. He I'm sorry. I do not like Klobuchar. no longer have it be a crime to well, illegally cross stuff at her the border. Worker, so there's that. Do you support that? Do you think it should yeah, be a civil like offense only? And oh, no. And if so, Candidate do you worry dearest. about potentially incentivizing like, okay. people to come here. Immigrants, they do so not diminish America, they are show? America. Um, and I am happy to look at his sure. proposal, but I do think you want glass. to make sure that you shot have glass. conditions in place that allow you to go after traffickers Yay. and allow you to go Drink after people um, who <laughs> are my shirt, uh, violating the law. What I really think we need to step back and talk about is the economic imperative here. Um, and that is uh, that 70 of our Fortune 500 companies are headed up by people that came from other countries. 25% of our U.S. Nobel laureates were born in other countries. Uh, we have a situation right now where we need workers oh, in our fields mercy. and in our factories. Yeah. We need them to start small businesses. We need their ideas. No, like, and this president uh, has drank. literally oh, gone nice. backwards uh, at a time where our economy needs immigrants. I mean, and so my proposal <laughs> to is to look forward. at that 2013 bill that passed. <laughs> the Senate that. with Republican support oh, to one, upgrade that bill, to make it as good as possible and get it done. It brings the debt like down by $158 billion. <sighs> it gives a path to citizenship for citizen for people who can become I mean, she just feels like a diet version so of three other candidates combined. In America. That's time. Thank, Thank you. you. Does it. Congressman like, Ryan, she's just as boring as Buttigieg, but is also a woman? That's... Well, I, I agree with uh, Secretary zero. Castro. I think there are Warren, other provisions like Warren's in the law mom. <laughs> that will allow you to prosecute <laughs> like she, people for coming over here if they're she's good, drugs and she's other good things. She's good on some that's stuff. That's already but established in the law. So there's no need to repeat it. And I think trying, it's a porn. We're talking about this father uh, who Who's got killed with his daughter. This is the Canadian. And, and, oh. and the issues Wait, here are where from these Ohio? kids are being treated. Like okay. he's if you go to Guantanamo Bay, really you go down to Guantanamo Bay that are held, they get better health care than those kids that are You'll find all the these... border in the United States. That needs to stop. And I think the president the should here, immediately ask guy. doctors and hey, nurses she going, to go NBC? immediately uh, down to the border and start <laughs> taking care of these kids. What kind of country are start we taking care of these kids? We have a president of the United States who's so focused on hate and fear and division. Now. And what ha sure. has happened now, the end result, is now we've got kids literally laying it's in not their own diaper, you guys. with three-week-old diapers that haven't been changed. What a hoser. We've got to tell this president Look, that they got to get down there and change those diapers. That is a in sign the concentration of weakness. Senator Booker, I'll, I'll 
Just pretend it's the Stanley Cup and like, you know, go do a that lot thing. Of Our next president will be Canadian. Yeah, he's completely correct. But it's like, here. yeah, duh. There's been a lot of we all agree. About what you'll do he's in the first just trying to win emotion about points. Legislation. What will you actually do with these families? How will you care for them? Will they be detained? JMP, at this point, I think detained? legal weed well, is kind of a given. And brief point because like it's almost like not even worth talking about. about like we all Castro agree on that. Are talking about is that we have like the he's power to better deal with this problem through the civil process yeah, his eyes and the criminal open. process. I have <gasps> been to some of the largest private prisons, which I don't are hate public to me, like that people Kobe are profiting off incarceration and their immigration lockups. Our country has made so many mistakes by about. criminalizing things, whether it's immigration, whether it's mental illness, whether it's addiction. We know that this is not the way to deal with problems. There is a humane way that affirms well, human rights and set, human dignity of and actually Weed. solve this problem. Donald Trump isn't solving this problem. We've seen under his leadership. How about we drink every time they present an idea rather than just tell us what is bad? By making investments in the Northern Triangle to stop <laughs> yeah, drinking. Yeah, our bad. Drink <laughs> we'll never drink anything. <laughs> and we make sure we use our resources to provide health care to affirm the Warren's values and human dignity forward. that people Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, but she doesn't get to talk much. we cannot sacrifice our values, our ideals oh, as a nation for border security. So we saying. can have yeah. both by doing this the right way. All but two people on stage <laughs> are pretty much Governor going like, on this. there's Warren like, What would you do talk? on day no. one? <laughs> Same question I just asked Cory Booker. I have yet to hear an answer from there anyone on this no stage. What will you do one. with the families that will be here? There is for no reason anyone. for the detention and separation of these children. For they should yeah, be yeah drink for Seth. And they should have a hearing and the law should be followed. That's what should happen. And we should do what we're doing in Washington state. I'm proud that we've passed Thanks, a Jay. law that prevents local law enforcement from being Jay turned like a into nice uncle. ICE agents. I, I'm proud to be the first governor to stand that. up against Donald Trump's heinous Muslim man. I'm proud to be the person who's not only I, talked about I feel about like Jay Inslee had a gay son that he disowned and felt sure super that bad about and has been working for years to repair so the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> These are the most inspirational people in our state. And I'll leave you with this thought if you want to know what I think. Donald Trump the other day tried to threaten me. He thought it was a threat oh, no. to tell me that he would send <laughs> refugees in Washington state if we passed a law the that I passed. Magic. And I told him that's not a threat at all. We welcome refugees into our state. We oh, recognize diversity as a strength. <laughs> this the is chat says they just don't want a guy named Jay as the president. Continue if I'm president. Let's talk separated from his family. We're going to talk about Iran right now. Oh, his eyes against the clock. Tankers have been attacked. A U.S. drone has been shot down. There have been disturbances. Okay, don't go to war with Iran. It doesn't matter. The U.S. and Iran. The end. Next question. I'd like if you can't just for a moment to put aside. No one's going to be coming to the here, but what I want to know America's done with do wars with that, that don't go anywhere. So a show of hands, who is After president six of them, we're finally done. 2015 nuclear deal as it was originally negotiated. Yay. Oh, oh, it's they mentioned Trump, our president, a mistake to pull out of that deal. And one of the reasons why we're seeing this hostility now is because Donald Trump is marching us to a far more dangerous situation. Literally, he took us out of the deal to get his transparency into their nuclear program and pushed back a nuclear breakout 10, 20 years. And now we're seeing two people at once further and we're being pulled in further and further into this crisis. We need to renegotiate and get back into a deal, but I'm not going to have Corey's a primary platform to say unilaterally I'm going to rejoin that deal because when I am president of the United States, I'm going to do the best I can to secure this country and that region Pepper, and make sure that if I have an opportunity to, to leverage a better deal, oh, yeah, stand push talk if you can. All right, Senator Klobuchar, I'd like you to answer that question because you've said you said you would, you would negotiate yourself back into the Iranian agreement. Can you argue that that new oh if you can't do it, as it was ratified? was a good deal. I can, it's just awesome. awkward. I got to keep the keyboard imperfect, close enough to the dog. Uh, but it was oh, a good fine, deal just for that do, moment. If, you can't, if it's hard, don't worry. I would to get longer sunset periods, and that's something we could negotiate uh, to get back in the deal. But the point is, Donald Trump told us when he got out of it that he was going to give us a better deal. Come on, Those Liz, were his jump words. in there. And now we are a month away 
Conversation of hops, hopscotch sucks. I know, I'm an introvert. On enriching, oh, uh, her letting them all be bland to each other is this. fine. And so that's where we that's are right fair. now. He has made us less safe than we were when he became president. So what I would do is negotiate us back into that agreement, is stand with our allies and not give <laughs> unlimited <laughs> leverage to China and Russia, which is what China. he has done. And then, China. finally, guys, I would make guess what sure the president that tweeted. This is only tweet. of a conflict, <laughs> and we're having this debate in Congress right right now that he comes to Congress Boring. for a legalization of military there you go. I would That's do that. Um, and this president Not is literally every single day, 10 minutes away so from going to war, He's playing to one tweet away from going to war, forum. and I Boring. think we should conduct foreign policy in our Imagine in the audience. Boring. 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 Let's deal with the situation where we I are. I do support her hair. This president and his chicken hawk cabinet Ooh. have led us to the brink of war with Iran. A lot of people I are served high on in Tulsi. the war in Iraq at the height of the war in 2005, a war that took over 4,000 of my brothers and sisters in uniforms. Lives and like you know, the hundreds American of thousands need to of understand that this war with Iran would be far there. more war devastating, far more costly than anything that we ever saw in Iraq. It would take many Ask more Beto lives. about it would the war tax, the refugee crisis, and it wouldn't be just contained within Iran. This would thing? turn into a regional. <laughs> he said war. that this week, and it was war. real weird. This is why it's so important that every one of us, he's like, every all non military families should have to pay a war tax. No war, war with, Iran. with Iran, not very we need to catchy. get back into the Iran <laughs> nuclear agreement. And we need to negotiate how we can improve it. It was an imperfect deal. There are issues like their missile, develop, their missile development that needs to be addressed. <laughs> we can do both simultaneously to prevent Don Iran Draper from developing a nuclear consultant. weapon and preventing us from going time to is war. Up. I have a very quick follow-up. Well, what would your red line be? That would, that Where's your red line? God Iran? damn it. Whoa. If, Obviously, it doesn't, if there was an attack against the Come American, on, you don't uh, need to troops, do that. You don't have to answer these arbitrary response, bullshit trap is, questions. And it's important for us to recognize Don't this, see, could you pronounce something in a different language for us? Yeah, please, we go back to that. Look, if there's, two guys, if there's four guys on one railroad and then one guy in another, and you can pull the switch. Iran, like, which is incredibly what the fuck? dangerous. <laughs> That's why we Don't need to de-escalate tensions. Trump needs to get back into the Iran nuclear deal and swallow his pride for the American people. First. I fucked it up. I had an extra syllable. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. There it is. Boring. Boring. He just said. Because they haven't mentioned him. Genuine. That's the reason he says boring is because they haven't talked about him enough. <laughs> like a handful of times. <clears throat> they haven't talked about the president much, which is good. They shouldn't. I mean, the only reason he became president in the first place is because he got, like, so many multiple billions of dollars of the free advertising. I don't know. I almost agree with the president. This has been a little boring because it's pretty much just people going up yeah. there going, bad thing is bad, and we all know it's bad. And the people go, yes. And then that's it. <laughs> people what should not plan? be dying at the border. It's like, I agree. So what are we going to do about it? People should not be dying at the... <laughs> like, it's a zinger contest because there's so many people. They gotta yeah. get a fucking uh, a tweet one out. In there. You have to like do the ultimate burn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Testing one two three. Yeah, you're there. Yeah. Oh crap! We have the better keyboard that makes us work. They got one of the CNN mouse boys up there doing the the stats. The guy that only shows up during like the special elections, and so we can just analyze a graph, jump around. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Joe. <clears throat> Okay. How much you want to bet this dude practices in front of a brick wall saying gibberish while flailing his arms? Speech team joke. <laughs> Here we see the president's actual heart rate. Yo, I pre <laughs> it's going up and down. I appreciate those mustard pants. It's a bold choice. Well, they don't look bad at all. Like, it's just... <laughs> I'm happy. I'm actually happy to see those pants. And the tie combo. He's, He's like... His pants are the He's color is if he can't make it. He looks like a Mormon stripper. <laughs> like those pants are coming oh off, God. man. Those pants are coming right is, off. My name is <laughs> Elder Bryce, <laughs> and I'm here to make you ladies night Have nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> Boozy, you sound like you're you're messaging us from the fucking Mars rover right now. 
<laughs> Boozy's in a time tunnel. <laughs> Boozy's message comes 18 minutes late from Mars. Bo Boozy's the guy guys! in... Guys! What? You guys, Trump won! Thank Fuck. you oh, for no. <laughs> He's calling us from the future. He's in the future somehow. God damn. Fuck. No, he's calling us from 2016 or 2018. <laughs> Fuck the year, whatever. The chat's gonna cancel me because I'm Thank objectifying you this man in his clothes. The follow. <laughs> His Come clip on, on Mike Wire. His clip on Mike Wire is outside of his shirt. Why? It's a button down. It's so easy to put it in there. <laughs> I think the reason we don't like him is because his animated self doesn't match his attire. Oh, I don't dislike him. I actually like him a lot. I, I would watch this man on mute dance around my screen all day. Look hey, at him. Hey, Somebody how about just, this? Hey, he's into it. Subscribe. Like him because he's doing what you do between songs. Yeah, I jump up and I go, "Look, everybody! Forty-six is a smaller number than forty-three. <laughs> wow! What? That's that's what he's doing right that's now. That's not how math works, Pepper. Oh, I fucking Thank said it backwards, didn't I? I've had too many drinks, even though they're saying socialism, radical, Wall Street, or Beto brings up jail. <laughs> I'm guessing tomorrow I'm going to bring out my automation gift. Oh, good. I'm ready for that. <laughs> Thank you for clipping Mormon Stripper Alley. I appreciate the work you're doing. and <laughs> Keep it up. Thank you, Dave uh, QAT, I guess, Cat, uh, for subscribing. Oh, my God. By all hey, means. Hey, Dave Cat. Welcome. Hey, Dave oh, Cat. Hey. See, you guys know He's these people. a local furry and friend and has done stuff for MFF here and there and is cool peeps. These are your people. They're happening right now. I have. I want to pee, but I feel like I'm not going to have time. I've ever given for a staff volunteer. We only have 10 seconds left before this freaking thing comes back. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, these breaks are uh, brief. <laughs> Dave Cat says 19 years they've been following you. That's about right. <laughs> Bastet says that they still think Hillary is corrupt, and my response is, good thing she's not fucking running. <laughs> yeah! Can we please stop hey, saying the H word? The first oh. I don't actually have to pee, I just want to pee. It's a strange place so to be right in. Now, let's turn it over to Chuck Todd and Rachel Maddow. <laughs> 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 oh my god. All right, we're gonna start JT says every time they show somebody in the audience, it's like, oh shit, are they a candidate too? <laughs> Ten tonight, ten more tomorrow. Hey, hey Pepper, the give everyone was selected your at basic Now the candidates will have 60 seconds to answer, 30 seconds for a follow-up. Pukes, but if you want to make Spanish a drink thing, just give me like 50 bits, we'll do it. Yeah, we can do that. Mm -hmm. By the way, hi, Rachel. Hi, Chuck. How you doing? Good. Oh, boy. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Ground to cover. Oh, We're going to be talking here. about guns and climate oh, wait, here climate up change. top. A whole lot more in this hour. Obviously, Rachel Maddow is going to be so snarky. Are you ready? Every person will be Look at her face. She's so ready to be snarky. Over the course of this next hour, we will hear from everyone. The dude I promise everybody. And to begin with, we're going to go with guns. Glitch. And Senator Warren, I want to start with <laughs> you. We are less Maddow than 50 miles gaining neck by the minute. from Parkland, Florida, where 17 people were killed in a school shooting last year and where there has been significant activism on gun violence ever since. Warren, yay. Many of you are calling for a restoration of an assault weapons ban. But even if oh, implemented, man, I didn't, I didn't there will still guns. be hundreds of millions of guns in this country. <laughs> right, we're ready. Should there be a role for the federal government? What's going on? on? Everybody's mics are on. I, I think we have a... Who's talking? I heard that too. That's oh, there were live mics, oh no. We had a little mic issue in yeah. the back. Yeah! Live oh, mics! Good, good, thing, good thing they didn't we scream any freaking yeah. racial oh, slurs at that exact second. All right. Can we hear so the, the question is simply this That was the stage from, director. I Can we hear the You guys didn't get to hear this uh, the first part of the question. Oh, they Obviously, can't we're not hear from Parkland, Florida. Uh, gun activism has become They turned the mics on the whole room. A big part of high school life up yeah. there in Broward County. They lost monitors guys, Many of you, you can't tell what happened. For the gun lost monitors. Monitors. Some of you are calling for the restoration of the assault oh weapons ban. But even if it's put in place there's still going to be perhaps Hundreds of millions of guns still on the streets. Is there a role for the federal Wait, government QM, in order you on guns? to play in order to get these guns off the streets? QM's on baby duty now. <laughs> <laughs> no one heard. No one heard the question, and they're all talking. Just get up, Chuck, and ask him. Just yell. Be alkali. Just fucking scream. Yay, everyone, live shit sucks. Yes. 
it Guess always what? messes up. We are going to take a quick I know break. that. We're going to get this it's technical in the moment. Uh, it situation makes it real, baby. fixed. We will be right back. They forgot to set, play one Doritos <laughs> ad. They have to quick oh, shove it in there. Drink for Erner says drink for technical difficulties, and they gave 100 bits, so I'm definitely going to. I'm going to finish my drink and grab my next drink, actually. All so thank you. Good timing. Election. Be right back. Continue to follow the latest I'm, I'm on the candidates with the NBC News mobile app. I heard you. Stay connected with breaking... I'm muting the main feed so you guys can just talk. Like, talk to our friends here. Even though you can't see what they're fucking feed. saying unless you have your Twitch shit on some other thing, like your phone, maybe. Okay, wow, okay, wow. Oh, Number the countdown eight. dude's in freestyle now. Look at him. Oh, oh, three Mustard minutes. Pants, oh, he's back. oh, he's back. Yellow Pants is back. Oh, oh no. Fuck. <laughs> Hey, let's just talk about Hillary some more. You know what? I, I've decided how I want the next debate to go. <laughs> All right, Boozy. TLDR. Guns. Go. Can you hear me? What? Not yet. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you fine. TLDR, guns, go. They kill things. All right, uh, Xander. Guns, right. TLDR, go. You can hear me, right? Yes. All right. Uh, restrictions are fine. License isn't crazy. Is that fine? Mine is, you need to take a fucking test to get a car. You should need a fucking test to get a gun. It's pretty much the same as mine, right? Give or take. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I've, I've made the decision tonight. I know how I want the next debate to go. I want okay. every candidate to be given a three-year-old to deal with. So oh. you want them to be given clones of our president? Hold on, Boozy. Are you giving our candidates the egg test? Have you been watching the background of QM's camera at all? That's a good point. Honestly, that's way more interesting than this debate. I'm, I mean, holy shit. The kid was literally running a car off the wall and flinging it at full speed in the air. There were several times I almost got hit in the face by a Hot Wheel while Betos was talking about immigration. How many of you were on when Boozy got hit in the nuts by one of his kids? I mean, <laughs> that one of the same kid. You know why? Oh. I wouldn't give him back the hot. Pepper, have you ever been? Oh, he might not be able to hear. He doesn't have his headset on. I'm back. What? Pepper, have you ever been kicked in the nuts for uh, taking away a kid's Hot Wheels? Oh, is that what happened? I saw the nut shot. It was it was very visceral. <laughs> yeah, that is. That is what happened. Oh, you're your regular streaming setup, and I actually hear you now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we, I, I took the first hour of being assaulted by the baby. It's someone else's turn. No more baby assault. Oh, look, they're talking about Arizona, where he won by less than 100,000 votes. Because fucking Gary Johnson. <laughs> uh. Is that really? Like, did he have enough to cover that? It's so yeah. pixelated, I can't yes, read the number. definitely. If Gary Johnson would have... If every single Gary Johnson vote went to Clinton, she would have won by 10,000 votes. Sorry, 9,000. I, I think Gary Johnson's middle name is fucking... Gary fucking Johnson. That's what he's all about. He's all about that poon. So does this mean we get to skip a commercial later since we're getting double commercial now? Bluff City Law. No. <laughs> Bougie, oh, do fuck, you we're back. Everybody shut up. Shows? Here we go. Here we go. Uh, we, we have banned procedural and law shows from this house. Exactly. It costs too many arguments, uh, I'm sure. Difficulties fixed. Never right? say no, that. Just never like say me never. Screaming but we will uh, <laughs> like like That's not how anything works. Bit. Senator Warren, <laughs> uh, we're going to get like to this. a gun question here. Okay, here's Warren. Hey, guys, Liz is going to talk. Yay. As you know, it has created a lot of teenage activism. Uh, on the gun issue, uh, it has inspired a lot of you to come shit. out with more robust the baby plans the <laughs> to deal with guns, including assault weapons ban. But even if you're able to implement that, oh, what do you do about the hundreds of millions of guns already out there? And does the federal reimbursement buyback program dealing with it? 
buyback programs um, are some of the coolest of shit out there. Oh my president. goodness. I've had more than 100 town halls that have taken Liz more than 2,000 unfiltered questions. Here we go. And the single hardest question I've gotten, I got one from a little boy and I got one from a little girl. And that is to say, when you're president, how are you going to keep us safe? That's our responsibility as adults. Seven children will die today from gun violence, children and teenagers. And they won't just die in mass shootings. They'll die on sidewalks, they'll die in playgrounds, they'll die in people's hey guys, backyards. Hey everyone here had to do Gun the, uh, violence is oh a no, national a mass shooter health in the building, emergency uh, preparedness. in this country. I used to work and in an elementary school, to yes. Me too. So what can we do? <laughs> many, we can many do the things times. that are sensible. We can do the universal background checks. We can ban the weapons of war. But we can also happened. double down on the research I, uh, and find out what really works. For, uh, Where it is clinic. that we can make the we differences at the margins drill. that will keep our children safe. We need to treat desk. this Thank like the virus that's Why? killing our children. Uh, you didn't address, do you, do you think the federal government needs to go and figure out a way to get the guns that are already out there? What I think we need to do is we need to treat it like a serious Come on, Elizabeth. Yeah. Answer the question, Liz. Done. Come on. Save the fucking Guns buyback in the hands program. Of a collector who's had them for decades, who's never fired them, who takes safety right. seriously. That's very different from guns that are sold and turned over quickly. We can't treat this as an across the board problem. We have to treat it like a public health emergency. That means bring data to bear and it means making real change in this country, whether it's politically popular or not. Senator Booker, you have a program. Do you guys think the president complained about this, about the technical difficulty? Because he definitely did. Uh, in your plan. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Link How it. Is that Post it. Work? Oh, it's, the chat, it's on the thing. Well, it's his tweet. His latest I want tweet. To say my colleague and I both I don't have been have hearing this open. on the campaign trail. Technical difficulties. Well, even worse is I He's hear just saying how their company sucks because they had a technical breakdown. I think I'm the only one. I hope I'm the only one on this <laughs> panel here that had seven people He called them fake news. In our neighborhood just last week. Someone I knew, Shahad Smith, was killed with an assault rifle at the top of my block last year. For millions of Americans, this is not a policy issue. This is an urgency. And for those who have not been directly affected, they're tired of Look living in a country the where their kids go to school to learn about reading, writing, and arithmetic, and go do <laughs> reading, writing, and arithmetic in their school. Uh, this is something that I'm tired of, and I'm tired of Jimmy hearing people. All they have to offer is thoughts and prayers. And in my faith, people left. say faith without <laughs> works is dead. So we will find a way. But wow, Corey did a Bible quote. I'm right drinking for that. We've let the, the Corporate gun law would frame this debate. It is Wait, time that we have it? both I actions and a Faith without agenda. works is dead. I will get that done as President of the United States because this is not about policy. This is personal. Thank you, Senator Booker. Faith without works, I think a thing Jesus said where he's like, look, you can pray as much as you want, but you got to do some shit every once in a while. Active shooter drills in schools. It's a good Bible quote. seem like an almost every day or every week occurrence now. They don't make a complete news That's how you know if your church is cool. As parents are so afraid Jesus said, the buck stops here. They're going to be caught up in something like this. Next to nothing has changed As in February that might affect the prevalence of school shootings. Oh, Velociraptor, don't be surprised to hear Bible quotes from Dems. Like, we now have the moral high ground, and they're, they're, they're so horny over having a such a shitty really president that they feel they need to have no ideas. They can just be like, look, we're better than them, at least. The dad of a 10-year-old girl, the best Democratic offensive maneuver is a firing circle? The worst thing... I think you still have to believe in God to be your child might be worried about what could happen at school, a place that's uh, supposed to be Obama safe. Has an the answer to your question is no. We don't have to accept that. Uh, and I believe that, was that on January 20th, 2021, at 12.01 p.m., we're going to have a Democratic president, about. a Democratic House, and a Democratic Senate. I think Castor is going to win, like, is the big winner of this. I think he's going to get the biggest poll so jump. Activists of Parkland, folks yeah, big time. from Moms Demand, who have risen, up, very risen up across the United States and inspired so many people. And everyone's going to be like, wow, you Andrew know, Yang did really good. <laughs> Andrew Yang, action. good job on the debates. But, look, How about we're that closer. He's like, but I'm, he's like vote. yeah, that was me. <laughs> In the Senate, the question often is, if, it's, if the decision is between 60 votes Booker doesn't of blink. <laughs> Passing common sense gun reform. All right, every time I'm going to choose common sense gun reform. Drink. So I believe that we're going to be able to get that done I mean, in 2021. He just gets missed. Yes, they do. It's called Oh, look, he gets to talk. Here comes the Canadian. Here comes the Canadian. On that answer from Secretary Castro, Congressman Ryan. You're talking about in the school. These kids are traumatized. I support.
support all the gun r reforms here. I we support need to start all the gun reforms. With the trauma that our kids have. Good job, we need Billy. Trauma based care in, in every school. All the we need social and emotional learning in every school. 90% of the shooters who do school shootings come the from the school they're in, and 73% of them feel shamed, traumatized, right now we have like, or bullied. Well, we have we like one sure counselor per 2,000 students or some that means insane a thing. Counselor in every yeah. single school in the United States. No, we arm need to the start kindergartners. Playing offense. Yeah, our arm kids are so them. traumatized arm that they're getting a gun and going into our schools. <laughs> We're doing John something Lou wrong, too, and we need techniques. reform around trauma-based <laughs> Arm the teachers, Texas. arm everyone. We campaigned all over the state in 2018 in the most conservative parts there. Beto's coming. I may agree with you on everything else. Kindergartners with AK-47. You know what? The Democrats, if I vote for them in there, they're going to take my gun away. And even though I agree with you on these other issues, how do you have that conversation? Here's how we had that conversation in Texas. Oh, I Texas. shared with them what I learned from those students who survived the Santa Fe High School shooting. Uh, a young student named Bree, uh, her friend Marcel, who survived another shooting, uh, the mother of a victim who lost her life, Rhonda Hart. They talked about universal background checks where you close every loophole. We know that they save lives. Talked about ending the sales of assault weapons into our communities. Those weapons of war were designed to kill people Guns as effectively people, and as efficiently as possible. They should belong on the battlefield and not in our communities. Red flag laws so that if someone poses a danger to themselves or to someone else, they're stopped before it's too late. And what I found in each one of those 254 counties is that Democrats and independents and Republicans, gun owners and non-gun owners alike agree. This but this effort opinion, must be led by the young people that you referenced people at the beginning up. of this issue. Those students from Marjorie yeah. Stoneman Douglas led the they charge have, here They do Florida, have different specifications when they're built, those though. Laws. They're making some our are built to kill work, people, some are built to kill a deer. And our interests okay. and our priorities are reflected in the laws that we pass. Chuck, hey, I, thank I, you, I, thank I, you, I, Congressman O'Rourke. Hang on. Let me let me give 30 seconds, um, Senator Klobuchar, the Iron Range. I'm curious, <coughs> gun confiscation. Klobuchar. Right? If the government is buying, back, no one will talk about getting you, rid of the guns. How do you not have that conversation? Hey, no, that's not doing in this question. Right. Give them the offer to buy back their gun. But I'll say this: I look at these proposals and I say. Um, does this hurt my Uncle Dick and his deer stand, coming from a proud hunting and Drink fishing for state? Fuck you. These proposals don't do that. When I was a prosecutor, <laughs> I supported the assault weapon ban. When I was in the Senate, I saw those moms from Sandy Hook come and try to advocate for change, and we all failed. And then, now, these Parklandkins from Florida, they started a literally a national shift. You know why? It's just Ooh, like with gay marriage. The, when kids talk the to their parents and their grandparents, they say, I don't understand why we can't put these sensible things in place. They say, listen, and All if right. we get bested Senator, by a bunch of 17 year olds, you. it's the best thing Senator, that ever thank happened. You. We Senator, need to Senator, it looks thank like you. the baby Senator, in your background is playing with the liquid and is going Senator to Senator Mitch McConnell. Oh my God, he's mixing a bomb. He's combining his two ounces. The majority leader oh, was preventing right President Obama from filling a Supreme Court seat. making a serum. <laughs> Having served with Republicans on the Judiciary the Committee, do you believe death. they would confirm hey, somebody your just court nominees? Welcome to the time I know that you don't agree with when it comes to guns, and I think it's common sense, and over 70% of Americans agree with me. If you need a license to drive a car, you should need a license to buy and own a firearm. And not everybody in this field agrees with that, but in states like mm -hmm. Connecticut that did that, they saw 40% drops in gun violence and 15% drops in suicides. We need to start having bold agendas on guns. When it comes to the All Supreme right, Booker, Court, where's your bold clearly, agenda? We, I agree with my friend, uh, Secretary Castro, we are going forehead. to get to 50 votes in the Senate. This is a team sport. Whoever is our nominee needs to campaign in places like South Carolina because we can elect Jamie Harrison. They need Your to campaign in places like Iowa because we. Corey, we where are your no, bold policy things? things. Just, this is about getting us no, back to having 50 good. votes He's in the Senate the and more so that we can thing. not that is good, but the Supreme Court, but up. start to pass an aggressive agenda that frankly is good to acknowledge. He's not going to be the candidate. But what was your bold strategy you were just mentioning? These are all platitudes. This is a platitude off. Congressman Delaney, you'll have some time in a candidate. moment on this issue. Of Let the Blasio talk more. I'll give you some time in a moment. Mayor de Blasio Let is an fucking executive Elmer Fudd talk a little more. In this country, <laughs> you are used to saying what you want to have happen and having it happen. 
If you nominate a Supreme well, Court nominee believe... as President of the United States and Mitch McConnell is still Senate Majority Leader, what makes you believe I will strangle that he Mitch would allow McConnell. you to make a nominee? <laughs> That's my campaign <laughs> promise. Rachel, uh, I will strangle Mitch McConnell. That's it. That's all you need. That's your platform. I will strangle him. I run the largest police force in America, too, and if we're going to stop these shootings, we're going to get these guns off the street. We have to have a very different relationship between our police and our The Shredder campaign strategy. I also want to say there's something that sets me apart from all my colleagues running in this race, and that is for the last... 21 Dude, years I I've been raising a black son in America. At this point. And I have had to have very, very serious talks with my son Dante about how to protect himself on the streets of our city and all over this country, yeah. including how oh, to deal de Blasio with has a black that son, he has so to you all take know. special caution okay, because there have been too many <laughs> tragedies <laughs> Wait, between say, our young I'm, men and our police, too, as we saw recently here. in India. Yeah. So de Blasio has a black wife, black son. about guns, but also a different conversation about policing that brings police into the country. De Blasio talks good, does not do much. And we've driven down talk not a lot of action but to your question about mitch mcconnell i mean there, there a was a split that we second i was thinking the like, democratic party did he steal would stop child. acting like the party of the elites <laughs> and be the party of working people again and go into states including red states to convince people we're on their side we can put pressure on their senators to actually have to vote for the nominees we that are about climate forward. change yet? Decent oh, jurists a, little bit, a little bit a little bit we talked about yeah. making green energy into money I'm and how the u.s should be the leader you, of that i will get you 30 seconds i promise let me get let me get this question I we're trying well i know you guys we got other issues we're trying to get to including a big one coming up in a minute but this. senator warren i want to is continue this, is that on sassy the moderator Mitch does that count thing because you have a lot of hey, ambitious have plans yeah. you have a plan for that yet? okay no no one said so what the fuck do you have a plan i think they all agree to deal with mitch mcconnell give them the s word you don't beat him everyone will cheer if, they if say he's it. still sitting there as the senate majority leader Socialism. it's very plausible you be elected president with a republican senate do you have a plan to deal with Mitch McConnell? Wait, what's I that? do. I do. I will murder Mitch McConnell. <laughs> that has to be your platform. Do you have a plan? Yes. Throttle Mitch McConnell. We are a democracy. And the way a democracy is supposed to work is the clause in the fucking the founding the document. Matters. Now, we for to far too long have had a Congress in Washington that is just completely dismissed what people care about across this country. They have made this country work much better for those who can make giant contributions, made it work better for those who hire armies of lobbyists and lawyers, and not Holy made shit, it work Liz, for the people. Well, here's how I see this happening. Number one, sure, I want to see us get a Democratic majority in the Senate. But short of the Democratic majority in the Senate, you better understand. Remember, the fight that be a bit still like goes sound on. Clip from Boozy? It starts in yeah. the White like House, the and it means that everybody we energize in 2020 like, stays on the front lines Jesus? come January no, 2021. We have Please to push from the outside, have leadership from the Their inside, goal, and right make this Congress reflect the, the will I'm gonna of get the to, people. I'm going to get a couple of you in here. I'm going to get you a couple in here. 30 seconds. Congressman Delaney, young turnout you, you seem to believe that you can do everything in a bipartisan manner. Only 25% of people, um, uh, sorry, of the electorate actually voted for the current president. We don't need to convince fucking anyone. to conform to your style. I know this is my bad I think we, we need to get things done. That's why I believe we need to operate in a bipartisan <laughs> manner. Honestly, I can't Listen, wait I'll for sign into law pills that come to the White House that are passed on, our, on a party line Sanders basis, whatever, absolutely. But, but all the big it, transformative things we've ever so done fuck. in this country's history have happened when huge majorities of the American people oh, yes, get behind them, which is why we need real solutions, not impossible promises. We need to put forth ideas that work, whether it's on health care, creating universal health care so that every American gets health care, but not running on making private insurance illegal. Okay. The gun issue Make private is insurance related. illegal. The gun Fuck them. issue is related because I can't <laughs> tell you how many times I've been with folks in Western Maryland, and they've said to me, you know, Democrats don't do anything for us. Republicans yeah. don't do anything for us. True. You fight all the time, uh -huh. so they vote on that single issue. Neither okay. of the parties they care about you. of getting things done for the American people Senator with real Booker. solutions, Booker. not impossible promises. Chuck. We'll I be able to get 30, all these things I promise two thirties here. I'm going to say, Senator Booker, thirty seconds. Uh, you, how do you? Millennials deal with are currently Mitch the Mitchell. biggest voting bloc in the entire country. You can't country. get bills on the floor right now with Mitch McConnell. Presidents can't do it. Is President Booker going to get his bills on the floor with Senator McConnell? You know, when I got to the United States Senate, going back to what De Blasio said, as an African American man in an African American dominated community, I knew one of the biggest issues was criminal justice reform, from police accountability to dealing with the fact that we have a nation that has more African Americans under criminal Your supervision wife's wrangling that baby. than all the slaves in 1850. 
And when I got to the Senate, people told me we could not get a comprehensive criminal justice reform bill done. As my colleagues in the Senate know, I fought on that bill from the day I got to the Senate. No blinks. Coalitions across the aisle. And today we passed the First Step Act. It's not as far as no I want to go, but thousands of people One blink. will be liberated. I have gotten, I've taken on tough problems people said we cannot achieve, and I've been able to get things accomplished. Thank you, Senator Booker. Rachel's got the next question. We're going to make, we are going, hold on, going Governor, next, you're going to be happy with where we go. <laughs> Governor Inslee, this next question sassy is to drink. you. Drink. <laughs> you got me? Rachel. You got me? You have staked your candidacy on the issue of climate change. It is first oh, here and we go. third priority for you. You said Good. it's all the issues. It, it is, specific. really. I mean, we're going to fucking we're die. We're in Miami, which is already experiencing serious flooding on sunny days as a result of sea level rise. Parts of Miami Beach and the Keys could be underwater in our lifetimes. Does your plan no. save Miami? Yes, first by taking away the filibuster from Mitch McConnell to start with. We have to do that. Look at, look at. We are the first generation yeah, to feel change. the sting Finally, the of climate change, and we are the last that can do something about it. Our towns are burning, our fields are flooding, Miami is, is inundated. And we have to understand, this is a climate crisis, an emergency, and it is our last chance in the administration, next one, to do something you know, about it. And we need to do what I've done in my state. I mean, We've passed a what happened to criminal justice? Clean electrical grid bill. <laughs> we now have a vision issue. statement. And my plan has been called the gold here. standard of putting people to work. The Party, but the most important thing on this, in the biggest decision Fuck for the yes, American Berger. public Thank is, you. who is going to make this the first priority? And I am the candidate and the only one who's saying this has to be the top Which priority of the United States, the Jesus organizing principle to mobilize the United States so that we can do what we've always done, lead the world and invent the future and put 8 million people to work. Governor, That's what thank we're going to do. Governor, Congressman O'Rourke, you've yeah. also put out a big climate change uh, plan from your campaign. You want some big changes in a pretty short period of time, including switching to renewable energy, pushing to replace gas-powered cars in favor of electric ones. What's your message to a voter who supports the overall goal of what you're trying to do, but suddenly feels as if government's telling them how to live and ordering them how to live? What is that balance like? I think you've got to bring everybody in to oh, the decisions man, to and the, the solutions to the challenges that we face. That's why we're, we're traveling everywhere, listening to everyone. We were in uh, Pacific Junction, a town that had never meaningly flooded before, just up against the Missouri River in Iowa. And every home in that community had flooded. Um, there were farms just outside of Pacific Junction that were effectively lakes. Those farmers already underwater in debt. Um, their markets closed to them by a trade war under this administration, and now they don't know what to do. We, in our administration, are going to fund resiliency in those communities, in Miami, uh, yes, in Houston, Texas, those Miami. places that are on the front lines of Boozy, climate if change you can today. Increase your game a little bit. Five trillion dollars. I can't do it for you, and I'm sorry. I wish I had that control. From a dependence I on fossil fuels, lot, and we're going to put farmers Just like 20%. and ranchers in the driver's seat. Renewable oh, and, and sustainable yeah. agriculture to make sure that we capture more carbon out of the air and capture all of it carbon in the soil. Paying you know, farmers for the environmental the services. Put that, that carbon provide. in jail, Beto. Does all that we can, <laughs> and we're going to be able to keep this planet from warming another two <laughs> degrees that Celsius the game? and ensure oh, that that's a little much. what this country can do and live up to our promise and our potential. Thirty seconds, uh, Secretary now? Castro. That's uh, good enough. Does who pays? We can hear your baby again. The <laughs> mitigation right to, to climate, whether it's building seawalls. I can hear you for fine. Chat, can you guys hear Boozy okay? That they shouldn't be living. Is this a federal government issue that needs to do that? You do they have to move these people? Boozy. What do Good. you do about that where, where maybe they're, okay. they're building We're getting, a What are we doing? That isn't safe. Who pays oh my God, that? Boozy! And how much should the government Get be doing? Your... Well, I don't think that that represents <laughs> the vast majority of the issue. In fact, you know, my first visit after I. Uh, announced my candidacy wasn't to Iowa or New Hampshire, it was to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Because people should know that if I'm elected president, everybody will I'm sorry, Andrew Yang is talking. You know, I'm one of the few candidates in this race with executive experience, oh with a track record of getting things done. When I was mayor of San Antonio, we moved our local public utility. We began to shift it from coal-fired plants to solar and other renewables, and also created more than 800 jobs doing that. 
And when I was HUD secretary, we worked on the National Disaster Resilience Competition mm -hmm. to invest in communities that were trying to rebuild from natural disasters like in a sustainable way. Okay. That's the way that we're going to help make sure no, that we're all safer in the years to come and that we combat right. climate change. Thank and if I'm elected president, the okay. first thing that I would do, right. like Senator Klobuchar also Thank has you, said, is sign an executive order recommitting us to the Paris Climate right. Accord so that we Thank lead you, again. Congressman Ryan, I got, a, I got a full question for you here, which is simply this. You're, um, <laughs> Sorry, the chat is saying Yang Gang 2020. Carbon, That's not Andrew Yang. Carbon in We're making a way. joke. This type of proposal <laughs> has been tried in a few places, whether it's Washington <laughs> State, where That's voters Castro. voted it down. You've had the it's Yellow Vest movement. We had in Australia one party get rejected out of fear of the cost of climate change sort of being put on the backs of the consumer. If pricing That'd be hilarious. <laughs> is just politically impossible, how do we pay? There's a variety of different ways to pay. We talk about different ways of, of raising revenue. And I think we've got to build our way out of this and grow our way out of this. But let me just talk real quick to the previous question about real politics. We could talk about climate. We could talk about guns. I wish. Talk about all of these issues that we all care about. We have a perception problem with the Democratic Party. We are not connecting to the working class people in the very states that I represent in Ohio, in the industrial Midwest. We've lost all connection. That we have got to change the center of gravity of the Democratic Party from being coastal and elital, elitist and Ivy League, which is the yes, perception, Andrew Yang is tomorrow. to somebody from the forgotten communities that have been left behind for the last 30 years, to get those workers back on our side. He's so we can say we're going to build electric vehicles, we're going to build solar panels. But if you want to beat Mitch McConnell, this better be a working class party if you want to go into Kentucky and take his rear end out. And if you want to take Lindsey Graham out, you got to have a blue collar party that can go into the tech textile communities in South Carolina. So all I'm, all I'm saying here... Man, this Canadian guy's getting a lot of applause. So all I'm saying is here, if we don't address that fundamental problem... Look, eh, if we don't address that workers, fundamental problem, without connection street, to workers, with the gays people. and the browns and blacks, no, it's going to get done, Chuck. Eh. Now I'm saying? It's time to introduce the only bipartisan carbon tax bill. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Go. All the economists agree that a carbon pricing mechanism works. You just have to do it right. You can't put a price on carbon, raise energy prices, and not give the money back to the American people. My proposal, okay. which is put a price on carbon, give a dividend back to the American people. It bottle. goes out one pocket, back in the other. Thank you, Congress. I can get that past my first year Please as president with a coalition God. of every Democrat in the Congress. And I'm going to get that wascally wabbit. States. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you. Florida, they actually really care out. about okay. this issue. Uh, this has got to be our way forward if we're actually serious thank about you. this issue. Congresswoman Gabbard, I'm going to move here. One of the first things you did after launching your campaign was to issue an apology to the LGBTQ community about your past stances and statements on gay rights. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, we got receipts. You don't even like the gay community. Why should voters in that community or <laughs> voters that care about this issue in general? I'm suddenly intrigued. Why should I, I vote for you? There is no one in our government at any feed. level I've who has the right to tell any American who they should be allowed to love or who they should be allowed to marry. Okay, good. My record in Congress for over six years uh, shows my commitment to fighting for LGBTQ equality. I serve on the Equality <laughs> Caucus and recently voted for passage of the Equality Act. Uh, maybe many people good. in this country can relate to the fact that I grew up in a socially conservative Tulsi home. Tulsi Gabbard, that's it. Held views when I was very young that I no longer hold so today. Did I, Tulsi, uh, I've but served I still with LGBTQ service members, both in training and deployed downrange. What about the trans? I know that they would give their life for me, and I would give Indeed. my life for them. She said, "It is this commitment that I'll carry Our ch through." My chat is very determined States, that she is lying currently. Recognizing that there are still people oh, who are facing lying. discrimination <laughs> in the workplace. Straight still tail, link an article or something. Don't just spam my chat with the word liar. Is this kind of discrimination that we need to address. But it's not Thank enough. You. It's Thank not you, enough. Congress. If I can add to this, it's, it's very important. Thirty seconds. It's not enough. Look, civil rights is some place to begin, but in the African American civil rights community, another place to focus on was to stop the lynching of African Americans. We do not talk enough about trans okay, Americans, especially African American trans, trans Americans, and the incredibly high rates of murder right now. We don't talk enough about how many children, about 30% of LGBTQ kids, who do not go to school because of fear.
It's not enough just to be on the Equality Act. I'm an original co-sponsor. Oh, we need to have Corey's a pushing we'll and listen to his resume. To protect LGBTQ Americans every you. single day from violence. Thank, Thank you, Senator Booker. Senator Booker, let me put this to you. On the issue of civil rights, for decades, um, on the issue of civil Kobuchar, rights, Kobuchar, stop including her. Honestly, and politics. <laughs> For decades, the Democratic Party has counted on African-American voter turnout as step one to winning elections on a national level. Democrats are counting on the Latino community now and in the future in the same way. What have you done for black and Latino voters that should enthuse them about going to the polls for you if you're your party's nominee? My life and my career and my work in the Senate has been about economic opportunity. And to me, this Maybe. means better child care. Uh, for everyone in this country. And when you want to have an economy that works, one, you need two, to have retirement that works. You need to have public okay? schools that work. You sound good to me. They're asking me to, to mute sure uh, Klobuchar's that, mic. That those communities <laughs> are able to get those jobs of the them. future, the STEM jobs. In fact, <laughs> Donald have, Trump, one of the I first bills that he signed, of the 34 he signed where I was the lead Democrat, Okay, that's a first up here. Is your um, policy track uh, was one decent? that was about that, <laughs> making sure minority <laughs> community <laughs> members um, could. It's very centrist, share very liberal. Jobs. So to like me, like capital L uh, liberal. This is about a few yeah. things. It's about an African American Actually, woman yes. that goes to a hospital in New Orleans. She's says very centrist. Swallowed, Sarah, and then, yep, she's very middle of the road. Baby dies. It's about uh, Hillary was very middle of the road. She lost for every dollar a white man makes. So, in short, we need States to, and one, and I will do this in my first 100 days as president, we will work Alkali to make sure everyone can vote at this table. Stop everyone can vote Shut in this up. country. That's and we will anymore. also go to the next step of criminal justice reform. Senator Booker and I worked on that first step back, but we should go to right, the Pepper, second I'm step back, uh, which is to you help all communities across. Senator, thank you very much. 30 yeah. second follow up to you, uh, Secretary Castro. You're not clipping, so you're probably fine. This is a 70% Latino city here in Miami. You are the only Latino Democrat who is running this year in the presidential race. Amy Cloud Boots Jar. Yes, straight tail. Amy Cloud Boots Jar. Describing their economic <laughs> what that justice means. agenda. Is that enough uh -oh. to mobilize Latino voters to stand with the Democratic Party in a big way? Uh, well, I also think that we have to recognize racial and social justice. And, you know, I was in Charleston not too long ago, and I remembered that yeah, uh, Dylan yeah, Roof went to the community. Mother Emanuel AME Church, and he Is murdered nine people who were worshiping, and then the he was right apprehended now. by police no, without incident. Well, but what about Eric Garner and Tamir Rice? And Laquan McDonald and Sandra Bland and Pamela Turner. Shut up, let Andrew Yang talk. Odyssey. I'm proud oh that I'm the only candidate so far this that has like put forward legislation that would reform Steve. our policing system Stevie. in America and make sure that no matter what the Steve color of your skin is, that you're treated the same, including Pastor Latinos Steve. who are mistreated too often times by police. Oh, he Pastor just tried Pastor. to Spanish explain uh, the word Latino. Question, I believe. Latinos. Question. I'm over here, Chuck. Where Thanks. We right. ask uh, voters from across the country to submit their questions to the candidates. Let me read one. Look, I don't want to go down that route where we're all too drunk to be fucking question. He asked, cautious. Does the United States have a responsibility to protect in the case of genocide or crimes against humanity? Do we have a responsibility to intervene, to protect people threatened by their governments even when atrocities do not affect American core interests? Yes. Like to that question Sometimes to I think we should intervene on genocides and shit. Other times we gotta John, appreciate make, the uh, question. The fuck, is dude. Yes. But that action Sometimes should always be undertaken. Look, we've been. With allies, I'm saying we've been goaded into doing friends. military action that isn't the unnecessary under the guise of genocide front, when it's not actually we happening. Much better chance of we should be in Myanmar right now if we give a single fuck about this. We should be in Yemen right now if we give a single shit in fucking Palestine. Genocide that we saw. Genocide is happening right now in the U.S. Going We're trying to genocide fucking Mexican Americans right now, and we President are doing fuck Trump all. Has alienated our allies and our friends and our successfully. He's <laughs> yeah, I mean, standing in the world, and he's made us Canada, weaker as a country, less able to confront challenges, whether it's Iran or North Korea or Vladimir Putin in Russia, who attacked and invaded our democracy in 2016, and who President Trump has offered another invitation to do the same. He's embraced strongmen and dictators at the expense of the great democracies. As president, I will make sure that we live our values in our foreign policy. I will ensure that we strengthen those alliances and partnerships and friendships and meet any challenge that we face together. That makes America stronger. Right, what about the War Powers Act? Yeah. 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 What, what about the War Powers Act being a part I mean, of that equation with deep respect to the congressman? Look, we learned painful action. lessons as Americans. <laughs> My chat's getting fucking out of control. We've gone to war without <laughs> congressional authorization. 
conversation. And look, this is very personal right, for me. I know the cost of war. My dad served in the Pacific in World War II in the U.S. Army. Battle of Okinawa had half his leg blown off, and he came home with scars, both physical and emotional. Okay, Bill, this is sad, but what recover. is he the point? Downward, and he ultimately took his Story own time. life. It yeah. sucks really and bad that, battle didn't that, kill that him, happened. That war did. I wish your dad and hadn't look, killed himself. Even but in what does this have to do with crisis, fucking anything? We should be ready, Congressman, to intervene. God forbid there is a genocide, but not without congressional approval. Not Democrats Congress and Republicans both in the Congress have not challenged presidents and have let them get away with running the military without the congressional approval. We learned a lesson in Vietnam we seem to have forgotten. And the decisions have to be made by the United States Congress. I want to pick up, up, I want to pick up this point, and I want to put this to Congress. Yeah, it should be up to Congress. I agree. Thank you, de Blasio. You're saying all the right things. He's like the Democratic, uh, fucking, who was our senator? Leaders as disparate as the guy who ran against Obama. Trump have both said that they want McCain. to end. McCain, you're the Democratic McCain. You talk real sweet, but, but you don't do shit. Why isn't it over? I know, and I'm from his state now. Very different All parties, Canadian very considers different very strongly. <laughs> I appreciate that question. So I've talking been over each other, drink. 17 years, and 12 of those years I've sat on the Armed Services Committee, the Defense Appropriations Committee, or the Armed Services Committee. And the lesson that I've learned over the years is that you have to stay engaged in these situations. Nobody likes it, it's long, it's tedious. But right this is now Tim Horton. Have, He's the so Canadian candidate. We must be engaged in this. We must have our State Department engaged. <laughs> we must have our military engaged to the, st to the extent they need to be. Are they engaged? The they should get married. Of it is, this president They've been engaged for a long, long time. In the state when are you putting a ring on these it? These things. Whether we're talking about Central America, whether we're talking about Iran, whether we're talking about so Afghanistan, like we've got to be completely engaged. And here's why. Why? Because yes, these obviously. That's the whole democratic the strategy at the moment. If getting a Aren't Trump therefore for good? 130 million dollars I mean, because the president is distracted. That's 130 million dollars uh, that we could be spending in places like Youngstown, Ohio, or Flint, Congress Michigan, or, re or rebuilding. Yo, is this guy proposing shrinking the military budget? Seconds, uh, the, the, the military he budget? He described, is that what you will tell you about that. the parents good. of those oh, two shit. soldiers who were just killed in Afghanistan? Well, we just have to be engaged. <sighs> As a soldier, I will tell you that answer is unacceptable. We it does suck. That was me that said. From it sucks when people we are die. In a I place mean, in Afghanistan fuck. where we have lost so many lives, we've spent so no, much money—money money money that's coming out of every one of our pockets, <laughs> money that should be going into communities here at home, meeting the needs of the people here at home. We are no better off in Afghanistan today than we were when this war I mean, began. This troops. is why it's so oh, important to have a well, president yes, commander in chief. I mean, who knows the cost like, of war? It doesn't mean nothing. The job on day one. I am ready to do that job when I walk into the <laughs> Oh boy, I, I'm scared. I'm scared about how we'll quote unquote fix it. Every time we try to fix it, we just seem to fuck it up. Talking over each other. Drink. Canadian candidate. Talk. Come on, Timmy Horton. Talk. In places that I've represented that have been completely forgotten, and we were rebuilding. But the reality of it is, if the United States isn't engaged, the Taliban. And will grow, and Edward they will have today. bigger, bolder <laughs> terrorist <laughs> acts. We have got to have some <laughs> The Taliban the were there long before we came in. They'll yeah, be and they there were, long yeah, before we exactly. leave. Well, we can't they were, keep U.S. And they were deployed to Afghanistan like, thinking that we're going to somehow squash this Taliban that is sitting there in every other country that has I didn't say squash them. When we were in there, they started flying planes into our buildings. So I'm just saying right now, we have an obligation. We keep installing dictators, and they just never work. Well, I understand. I understand. I understand. That's why. I and so I many other people join the military to go I after Al Qaeda, not the Taliban. The Taliban. The Go ahead, Taliban Tyson, finish up 10 was seconds. protecting those people who were plotting against yeah, us. Drink. All I'm saying is, if we want to go in to elections and we want to say that we got to withdraw from the world, that's what President Trump is saying. We okay. can't. I would love you know for who's us to. protecting Al Qaeda right now. I want to go Saudi down. Saudi Arabia. I want to go down the line here. Finish. Oh up shit! Policy. It's a simple question. What is our? What is the biggest threat to? What is? Who is the geopolitical threat to the United States? 
Just like give me one more Fucking guess itself. The world, though, it didn't work out Can you repeat the greatest well. geopolitical yeah. threat to the United States right now? Mention Trump, Biden. drink. Well, Thank you, Erner. The uh, geopolitical challenge is China, but the okay. biggest geopolitical threat yes. remains right. nuclear Why weapons. Okay. Right? So those are, di you know, those are different you. questions. Uh, totally get it. Go ahead, Governor Inslee. The here. biggest threat to oh, shit. The, here we go. the United States is Donald yeah. Trump. And there's no Donald Trump, drink. <laughs> The greatest love of all. The threat that we face is the fact that we are at a greater risk of nuclear okay. war today than Shit, ever before in history. Cong Cong uh, Senator Klobuchar. Nuclear war, got it. China, but our, our China's economic. Right now is what's States going on in the Mideast with States. Iran if we don't get okay. our Try to keep it at one. Our, our, They're saying the biggest threat's Iran? Our, our, well, us to them or them to us. Climate change. We have to confront it. Climate change, Senator thank you. Wyatt. Holy fucking <laughs> shit, Beto. Thank you. Senator Booker. Nuclear proliferation and climate change. Secretary Got it. Uh, China and climate change. Yeah, Congressman Ryan. Andrew Yang, China. China. Is not a question that China. Is wiping us China. around the world economically. China. <laughs> China. Because they're trying to undermine our, our biggest trading partner. Damn good job of it. We need to stop them. All right. Well, Mr. Trump, you're good. Thank you for uh, that wide variety of answers. And, and I mean that. No. Oh, I mean my that, God. I mean, I, the biggest threat is China. Is our this biggest trading part, partner, uh, our best economic like friend um, is definitely our biggest threat. Work. Stop fucking Spencer lying to yourselves. Holy report. shit. Outlines multiple instances our biggest threat are the people that we pay the most money to. <laughs> House Speaker Pelosi has publicly and privately resisted any move toward impeachment in the House. If the House They're trying to kill us and also make all of our shit. As president, would you do anything to address the potential crimes that were outlined in Mr. Mueller's Fuck report. Fuck Pelosi! Yes, and I'll Here tell she you comes. why. Is she coming out? Is she a candidate? The answer's yes. <laughs> One of the most powerful pieces of art in the United States Capitol is the Trumbull painting of General George Washington resigning his commission to the Continental Congress <laughs> at the height of his power, submitting to China. the rule of law China. and the will of people. China. That has withstood the test of time for the last <laughs> 243 years. If we set another precedent now that a candidate who invited the participation of a foreign power, okay. a president who sought to obstruct the investigation into the invasion of our democracy, yeah. if we allow him to get away with this with complete impunity, me, then we Come will on. set a new standard, and that is that some people, because of the position of power and public trust that they hold, are above the law, and we cannot allow that to stand. So we must begin impeachment now so that we have the facts and the truth, and we follow them as far as they go and as high up as they reach, and we save this democracy. But two years too late, but okay. If we do that in this year or the year that follows, and under my administration, Give it to me, Pedro. our Department of Justice will Give me your sweet these facts load of democracy. There are, there are consequences, there is accountability, and there is justice. It's the only way that we save this country. Thank you, Congressman <laughs> O'Rourke. Skateboard beta. <laughs> what did Trump tweet? Here we go. Congressman O'Rourke was just describing there, oh, and he, the real political. He tweeted a Times uh, article about him. Nancy Pelosi is saying that impeachment oh, will not be pursued in the House. No, Donald Trump it it talks about him being a dictator and, and never giving up power. Ha 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 ha! For some of those potential it's so crimes cute, right? down the line. No U.S. president has ever been prosecuted for crimes after leaving That's office. That's the one. Do you That's believe that President Trump ago. could or should be the first? I guess there's always a first. No, not that one. The, yeah. <laughs> like, should he be? I don't first? think anyone's above the law. Oh. Be the first guy to put I don't think anyone jar. is above the law, including <laughs> a president. I support Speaker Pelosi's decisions like that she's Obama making in the in the House of Representatives oh, right now as Speaker. I think she knows more about the decision as Damn, my chat is fucking salty at the moment. The Everyone's fighting. Combined. <laughs> Conceded. So, On the but issue I do think. I do think the pr no one's above the law, oh, and this president, who is lawless, it's okay. should fine not be this. above the law. But I will tell you, okay, Rachel, Elmer. The one thing tell me your real opinions. As much campaigning as I've done, okay, 400 fine. events, all 99 counties in Iowa. This is not. Ky is a person I thought at first was a troll, but they're also it's not. proving they themselves to be very leftist. So I'm like, what kind of troll is this? How we're going to build infrastructure? What we're going to do to create jobs in their communities? You know, last year in our country, 80 percent of the money for startup businesses went to 50 counties in this country. They're There's threatening. over 3,000 oh counties in this country. <laughs> That's what King they care the about. He they is. About That's the bill from King schools. of the Bill. <laughs> they care about what's going on with jobs in their communities, <laughs> with their pay, like with their health care, with infrastructure. Is that the guy who, These are the issues. who's the guy in the tank top that's just kind of dumb and sweaty? That's all of them. That's what most Americans care about. They never ask about it. 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 They never ask
I Here's the thing. I so Senator, I, we got we let the somebody give him a big spank. That'd be great. To, and if we do not do something about Russian interference in the election, and we let Mitch okay. McConnell stop <laughs> all the backup paper ballots, <laughs> that is we're not going to get what we want. Right, I, Look, Kobuchar's going to set your boys straight. Through a break, which is good news to give you more time, we're so I got to sneak one in now. More of this debate is picking up here. It continues right after this. Holy shit! This is fun. Oh no, I have to we kill have my own thing or everyone will see me doing to. this. This is one of those things that you have not Do been I otherwise know. hearing about in the news. But now where is it? With me. Feed your mind <sighs> Never mind. You. Get your I don't know how to use my own... Oh, uh, let me hit the freaking... Let me hit the mute button on this. How do I... How do you even... Is this it? Is this the button? No, what the fuck? Never mind. It's okay. Where'd you go, Pepper? We can't see you. What, you can't see me? Did I di wink? Did I disappear? No. I, I can see myself. We see you. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hit the video camera, on Pepper. My ca what? On Discord, hit your camera button. Yes. Camera. I would date. Camera off. Hey, you figured it out. Woo! My camera's now off, you fucks. Now it's on. Yeah. Hey guys, here's a fun thought. Hey, what? Somebody All just. Oh my god! I'm sorry. As you guys are talking, my my you just subscribed jingle is playing 15 times in a row because JT Cheetah just gifted everyone in the world a subscription. So continue talking. Hey, somebody but realize just no one will hear it because it's being spammed by subscribe. And now again, three more times. Hey. Hey, somebody, somebody just S U B S C R I B E D. Subscribe. I'm trying to figure out how to make someone an admin. How do I admin someone on my own chat? I don't know how to fucking do it. I genuinely don't know how. Do the whole subscribing things. I don't know what Twitch would like. Subscribe to me, you coward. Hey, somebody just S U B S C R I B E D. Subscribe. We got at least one more time. Here comes Mustard Pants McGee over here. Oh, I got a pee. I got 30 seconds. I'm running away. Go! Hey! Is somebody it just... Okay, chat. In the background, does Fox look like an incarnation of the fucking doctor from Doctor Who? Of course. Boozy, are you a Doctor Who fan? Yes. You up to date? I'm doing my second rewatch no. the whole way through. Where'd you end? Uh, whatever the last scene, uh, season Amazon Prime had available. Amazon Prime has all of it. Uh, they didn't have the one with the latest incarnation after Cabaldi the last time I checked. You haven't seen Jodie Whittaker? Not a bit of it. Do yourself a favor and check it out. Is it on Prime? <laughs> Now it is, I think so. Okay, here we go. Okay. Doctor Who? I've seen a few episodes. I'm going to discover how to mod one of my uh, admins, who I'm deciding is an admin right now. And <laughs> Also, Velociraptor, fuck yeah. Who? Pepper, did you stop midstream, or did you actually get it all out? Get what all out? Peeing? No, that was a very quick yeah. pee. Back to Bill from King of the Hill. How do I mod people on Twitch? We're going to watch this. Mod direct people. You can click the link in the description, and that will take you to a video showing you how to unmoderate people that you Just no like longer want as moderators. I don't want to unmod anyone. User. And as you can see, oh my God, his if I go back into like chat, Nicholson's it says Joker you have added Terraria help as a mod. I got you, Dragon. If you a list, and whoever you want to mod. So, for example, this guy, you simply click on their name and click up user. Op and user? See, what the fuck? Okay, if I here go we go. Back into chat, it says you have added Terraria help as a moderator. What? Of this room. That isn't even there though. And if you want to see what moderators God. you have, you can slash mods. 
I'm going to actually piss. And it will serve the moderators of this room at round I'm going to piss oh. everywhere on Earth. Very simple. That's, all you That's what's going to happen. Ow! No! Ellie, you may or may not be on a phone call with me now. In the chat. So yeah, once I got again, you. just go to the bottom of your chat on your channel <laughs> to open up the viewer list. <laughs> and click on the name. Xander, you gotta show me how to do this shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my sure. goddamn mind. Here's Bill de Blasio. Already shut up. Who has seen the face of poverty and didn't just talk about it, but gave people $15 minimum wage. It matters that we nominate a candidate who saw the destruction wrought by a broken health care system and gave people universal health care. It matters. <laughs> That we choose someone hey guys, who saw the wasted potential good. of our children denied Booyah. pre-K <laughs> and gave it to every single one of them for free. These things oh, really matter. The and these are the things Hi, that I've done out. in New York, yeah, and I want to do the same for this whole country. Hi, because putting recognize. working people first, Hello, it people matters. We need to be that I'll party again. again at some point. Let's work together. With your help, we can put working people first again. Oh, in fuck. We only got eight minutes. Here we go. Right closing now. statements. <laughs> <laughs> Good time for me to. Forty-five seconds. <laughs> yeah, plug our. I have three grandchildren. We love them all. Oh, and when I was thinking out. about whether everybody, to president, if you haven't seen the Drag It Show, decision. let me type this in the chat. Please I look it up. That on my they are on. Earth, I wanted to look. They're on the every freaking platform, mostly YouTube, but possible. everywhere. To protect them from the ravages. If you guys haven't seen Boozy Badger yet, and I know to a moral certainty. Oh my God, Chicago! At the very least, who commits to this? At the very least, right after Megaplex will be in town. Frankly, I'm surprised. I'm the only candidate who's made this commitment to make it the top priority. If you join me, we all hang out. Let me post all their twitters. We can have a unified... Oh, fucking, what are your Twitters? Mission. They aren't necessarily obvious. We can save ourselves. Uh, we can save our children. We can save our grandchildren. Guys, you, go to my Twitch and enter your planet. enter your this Twitters so I can have no moment. responsibility over right. fucking them up. Congressman Ryan, you're 45 seconds. <laughs> there it is. What is your Twitter? There's nothing worse than not being heard. Nothing worse than not yes, being seen. And I know that because I've represented for 17 years in Congress a forgotten community. They've tried to divide us, who's white, who's black, who's gay, who's straight, who's a man, who's a woman. And they well, ran away with all the gold. Are you saying identity politics? The working class. It's time for I agree. us to come together. I don't know how you feel, but I'm ready to play some offense. I come from the middle of industrial America, but these problems are all over our country. There's a tent city in L.A. There's homeless people and people around our country who can't Sorry, I like what Tim Ryan's saying. There is a tent city in L.A. We can't afford shit. Track. Yeah, the what are you going to do, Texas, Tim? The nurse in New what Hampshire, are you going to do? In Wisconsin, all of us coming together, playing offense with an agenda okay. that lifts everybody up. Thanks, I will Tom, only promise you one thing. Tim. When I walk into that Oval Manager, Office every morning, you will not be forgotten. Thank Your you, voice will be heard. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, man. You have 45 seconds for your closing. You know, our nation was founded on the principles who? of <laughs> service above self. Who? People who fled <laughs> kings who leave literally prospered on the backs and the sacrifices of people. I hope. Coming here to this I think she's country, more going to instead putting in so, place a government that is of, is by, that by, and for the people. She's she but knows that's not what we have. she knows instead, her strength in fashion. It's fucking dark purple. And for <laughs> the rich and powerful. Like, can we call it this must end. Purple? I want to, but she's not. Our White House will be a beacon of light. <laughs> she's not quite a full a socialist. An opportunity, ushering in a new oh century where every single person like will be able to get the health care they need, where we will like have the, clean the air waiters. to breathe and clean water to drink, where we will have good paying jobs in a like new green economy. No Join eats. me in ushering in this I new century with peace, prosperity, awesome. opportunity, and justice for all. I don't think you have to be gay to eat Hold up! Spanish is happening! Yay! Drink for Spanish! Shows the progress that we have made in this country. Like many of you, I know the promise of America. My grandfather was seven years old as an immigrant from Mexico, and just two generations later, one of her grandsons. Yo, dude, we're in the gold. We're on the gold cup right now. The other one is running for president of the United States. The E E U U. The E E U U. 
apart every single day so whoa, that you and your whoa, whoa. family Andrew can get Yang good health care, your child can get a good education, and that you can have Yes, your dude, Andrew Yang's going to poison his children for us. And Julian Yang. We'll say adios to Donald Trump. Fucking Rapino. Woo. Three things to know about me. First, I listen to people, and that's how I get things done. Okay, Kobuchar. Kobuchar. Me and Kobuchar would probably have a nice dinner together. Over 100 bills Which where I'm the lead Democrat, and that is because I listened like and, and I acted. Me. And I think that's important in a president. Me. Everything else just melts me, bitch. away. <laughs> Secondly, I have someone that can win and beat Donald Furry Trump. Jury. I have won every Come to the Furry Music race, Festival on Friday. Time. I have won in the reddest of districts. Uh, Once that Donald Trump won by over 20 points. I can win in states like Wisconsin and Iowa and in Michigan. And finally, I'm a crash that shit. The establishment I, party candidate. I I've got respect, but I'm not that person. I, I am the one that doesn't have a political no, machine that doesn't I'm come from money. And I don't make all the promises. Uh, I would be mad you're talking over Amy Klobuchar, but I kind of am fine with you talking over Amy Klobuchar. I'm going to have your back, and I'm going to govern for you. Thank you, Senator. 50 years ago this month, my family moved into the town. Uh, right, Corey. House after being denied. Shut up, Corey Booker, Corey Booker is talking. Activists, mostly white activists, yeah, just stood up and fought for that. That's the best of who white activists, are, also known as whacktivists. I got out of law school. I moved into the inner city of Newark to fight as a tenant lawyer for other people's rights. I've been trying, man. I've taken on bullies. <laughs> they keep turning off. I've taken on tough fights, and we've won. And we win those fights, not by showing the worst of who we are, but rising to who's best. Donald Trump wants us to fight him on Drink his for blink. Term. Drink for blink. <laughs> Drink I for blink. By calling this country to a sense of common purpose again. A sense of this communism. This is a referendum on him and getting rid of him, but it's also a referendum <laughs> on us. Who we are and who we must be swear, to each other. It's time we win this election. And the way I'll govern is by showing the best of who Just we are, because way. that's what this country doing. needs Senator, and deserves. Thank you. Congressman O'Rourke. 45 seconds. Our daughter Molly turned 11 this across, week. But it's not natural. I'm on this stage for her. I mean, children across this country. I would vote for Cory Booker without feeling too bad about myself. Their parents eh. are sleeping on concrete floors under aluminum right blankets tonight. Other than We're going to be there the, for them. Uh, We're going to confront the challenges I mean, that we face. Bad. We can't return to the Him same and uh, fucking, approach. what's the California cop's name? She's on tomorrow. Camilla Harris. They're, they're One swap them out. They're like interchangeable for me. Wait, Those climate really? activists who are fighting not just for their future, really but for everyone's. Justice. Those students marching. Uh, not just okay, for their lives, yes. So for fine. Of, of the two, we're I'd we're rather vote for Booker because she's been a cop for a long, long time. Democracy by bringing yes, everyone I know. In and writing nobody yeah, off. I agree. That's how we beat Donald Trump. And that's how we bring this great country together again. He said, Join Trump, us. drink. This is our moment, and the generations that follow are counting oh, on us God. to meet. Thank Booker you, Congressman. Warren, yay! Thank you. Shut it's the a fuck great up. honor to be here. Noobs. Never in a million years did I think I would stand on a stage Thank like you, this. Erner, for I was born and raised in Oklahoma. I have three older Andrew brothers. They all joined the military. <laughs> I had a dream growing up, and my dream was to be a public Guys, school teacher. teacher. By the time I graduated Me too. from high school, it was my, too family, gay, though. <laughs> my family didn't have the money for a college application, much less a chance for me to go to college. <sighs> But I got my chance. It was a $50 a semester commuter college. Yeah. That was a little slice of government Guys, that created some opportunity for a girl. And it opened my life. True. I Dude, am in this fight because I believe awesome that we can make our government, we can I'm make saying. our economy, we can make no, our genuine, country not work, joking. not I, just for those at the top. We can make it work really for everyone, and I promise you this. Oh, I, I would feel very happy as voting for Warren. As hard as I fight for my own family. So. Absolutely. She looks like a bewildered grandma at all times, but I still like her a lot. She's pushing farther left than pretty much anyone at this point. And she has fucking policy. She has ideas. All right, we're hitting that mute button. Bruh. Hi, kitty. Kitty's here because you know it's exactly 8 p.m. Cat, <laughs> you ready to have your titties revealed? Okay, here he is. I, can we can we see can we see more? Can we see more his boob? <laughs> You're way in the dark. What in the world is going on? 
Look, you fucks, you aren't watching my Twitch streams. So you don't even know. There's more boob. Woo! Can I zoom in? I'm zooming your boob. Ah! There he goes. Oh, I saw that move. You <laughs> saw that move, move. <laughs> you know, Pepper, you weren't too far off. People would say about anywhere from one to three sentences and speak nothing of substance. I know. Like, that's the shittiest thing is all I want is some fucking policy. But they have no policy, so they're all just, it's just the platitude Olympics. The, the okay, debates you... aren't policy. Debates are let me sell myself to you in as few words as possible. Without saying anything to substance. I know, like fucking Rook. Can we like get can, can we get back to that? <laughs> we have a voting system that supports a third party. Yes, can we, we talk about the that? The only real hope is to get in a progressive Democrat that understands that problem with our electoral system and get it in. Yeah. So Until that is have... where we are. I just want to say the last time we had a legitimate third party. They was it what the bull slavery. moose Paul? The, the bull moose party? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh. but boozy, I agree, but we don't have a system that supports it right now. Oh, sorry. Let me uh, adjust you guys' vocal volume at the moment. They said make my Discord think, people louder. Yeah, Absolutely, I can do that. Until the voting system actually supports third party, then you're just siphoning votes pretty much. Well, I mean that's that's the way our system works. That's the way it's worked for forever on this one is when one party fractures too much, a third party comes in, and then the, the survivor becomes the predominant second party. I think at the moment it's extremely unrealistic to hope for any kind of third party to do, to do really much of anything. Because remember, even if a third party were to win, uh, like, the most votes, like, you know, 34% of the vote or whatever, who decides at that point who gets, gets to become president? It's the fucking Senate. And unless the Senate has more than 33% of seats at said third party... Fucking, they're not going to be president anyway. Like, they would have to choose who they're going to pick if, even if a third party candidate won 40% of the vote. If they don't get the over 50% that they need, Republicans and Democrats are going to choose either a Republican or a Democrat. There's no fucking way they're going to be like, yo, fucking Jill Stein, get in here. Like, no, that's not how it works. So, Pepper Boozy, I'm making an assumption yeah. anyone who does not or knows about ranked voting. Yes. Please check it out. Holy shit. Uh, ranked preference voting is absolutely great. Yes. it Ranked voting is essentially the mechanism to say, I really want this person, but if they don't get it, then here is yeah, your, my your second choice matters. list of fallback choices. Can it's I like my quick? most yeah, definitely. exclusive. Yes. Jump All in there, right, Jabroni. Quick. If, it's funny. If you're actually for more... Uh, less polarizing politics you're actually for ranked voting because that'll actually get get more believe it or not that'll get more centrist candidates because right now we're trying to find the most democratic guy and the most or, or person whatever the fuck and you know obviously it encourages polarization so if you i'll want... tell you i'll tell you what i'll ask santa to give me that next christmas because it's about as realistic as it in the current system I I'm all behind. I'm all behind what you're saying, and I don't <laughs> no, disagree. No, no, no. But we gotta look at shit realistically. And the way you build no, support right. for this realistically okay. is local, municipal, and state level elections mm -hmm. going through for third parties to build up that support to elect those people to Congress yeah. to force one of the major parties to build a coalition with them in order to get over no. the fifty vote limit. At the moment, how many independents do we have, or how many non Democrat and Republicans do we have in the House or Senate? It's because it's because none of the Bernie. independent parties. We right have now, Bernie. None, Bernie is the none. only even independent that's currently none in the Senate or House. Of the independent parties right now are focusing on local and municipal elections. They come out every four years, or every uh, every time there's a federal level election. They don't build up the grassroots base where you have a contingent of voters in one representative district and one state in and of itself where they have a credible chance of getting more into that government. That's how Bernie I mean, built it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Fair. There's a video. I, I sent it to a bunch of folks. I Like Pepper and Xander definitely saw it. I don't know if Boozy, you saw it. But essentially, it's Bernie on some talk show or something in the 80s. The dude gets massive fucking credit for being consistent. He has been saying he's been waging oh, yeah. his battle Same against for like income inequality years. for his entire <laughs> fucking life. 
It's been a long Bernie, time. Bernie Sanders' position has been his position since the 70s. I respect the hell out of him. It's why the man has my Good. vote. I mean, if I want to get, if we want to get super uh, sad about this, it's uh, essentially what candidate uh, goes against the current political power. Because uh, the, the the reason, the way the Democrats talk about being centrist or like reaching across the aisle is basically to yield ground to the right, and yep. a thing that they will absolutely never return. Like, there's no. Can you imagine the Republicans going like, you know what? You've been so nice to us in the past. We're just going to give blank people rights just to be nice. No, that's never fucking going to happen. So what was the strategy the called that, Clinton, Obama. that both Clintons adopted? What was it called? Bit of education for everyone watching this shit. What Was it called the Southern Strategy? Basically, there was a modus operandi the Southern strategy? that was the, the Southern for strategy? every... Sorry. Uh, yeah, it, it was like for every socialist liberal vote lost, they would gain two centrists. That is what Clinton managed, uh, Bill Clinton managed to run on weirdly in the 90s and kind of got it. And yeah. that's what Hillary really ran on and lost because of it. Like, the reach across the aisle thing doesn't work. It, it's what we refer to as fishhook theory, or you've heard of horseshoe theory, right? Where, like, extremists tend to meet in the middle, like, far right and far left are the same thing. Now. We're saying fishhook theory, which means uh, the right. The more you compromise with the right, it's like center, right. Let's compromise. Boom. Center, right. Let's compromise. Boom. Center, right. Let's oh, we end up super right wing. How the fuck did that happen? Whoa. I have no idea. Look. Uh, What's the window called? There's a term the for Overton that. The Overton window. <laughs> the Overton oh, say, window. It should be very far right. Really right. Where at the moment, what is centrist Dude, I, is going, I, hey. I want to I I correct one thing you just said. Sure, sure. The Southern strategy wasn't. A, uh, a Democrat strategy. You're talking it's about the Goldwater Democrats. Yes. The Southern strategy was a Republican uh -huh. strategy from the 50s on up that essentially said we will appeal to racism. Because it we, works. We will appeal yeah. to to the most racist votes voters in the South to bring them over from the Democratic Party. And it worked. Because we don't need the African American votes if we have the racist white as people. As long as you got so white people, you can win those states. To, uh, and it basically was, evolution of human nature. The reason that worked is essentially tribalism. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. It is. It is. It doesn't like apologize. It doesn't say it's okay, but like societally and brain chemistry, that's why it worked. Hold on, I gotta say something real quick. Someone said, like, socialism fucks them up mentally. Go for it, uh, Isn't socialism basically anything you c collect taxes for, like military, Well, if, if you want to be shitty about it, you could say that social, uh, the fact that we all have free elementary and high school education is pretty fucking Hell socialist. Socialism. The fact yep. that we have, uh, you know, police and firemen and roads that we're all allowed to use because we all paid for them is pretty socialist. Because like, the free market didn't dictate those roads should exist. The free market, the free market didn't dictate that everyone should go to elementary and high school. It's basically we all agreed that for free we should educate people to a certain amount. That libraries right. should exist. That roads should exist. Those are all pretty socialist ideas, if that's what you like, meant. Yeah, yeah. Where like, do if you, you all? If, hold on, hold on, hold on. All sit. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. No, sorry. No, no. If if you're for like poor people being able to read and write, you're for socialism. Pretty so socialist okay. as far as things go. Yes. Yep. So <laughs> let's play the what if extension. Uh, a lot of the Nordic countries that the group of us like as far yeah. as models for in smaller populations, socialist ah. good ideas. A lot of them also have uh, even further mandatory civil service a la like not military training but pretty close to it a lot of those countries have it where do you all fall on that considering they also have the social nets to account for that you're not fucked when you go do it okay the, the i'll, I'll read for chat by the way is, when they do come you up support something like that for here <laughs> are you asking do we support mandatory military service with social nets to support it so Uni is saying there's a line between necessary and throwing yeah. out free shit or, to get votes. Uh, essentially, like government or social work, not necessarily military. What do you guys think about the idea that giving away, uh, quote unquote, hold giving on, away? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Roads are necessary, as is public education. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's not agreed on. Trust me. 
Well, yeah, not everyone agrees that. Yeah, I know, but let's. Most right. most let's... people do. Most people think that roads are necessary and public education is necessary. But I guess what we're saying, like, can can you guys respond to the idea that giving a quote unquote giving away uh, college education and uh, med- giving away medical care? Like, what do you guys have to address? If people try College to be as reductive as giving hard. away, you can't just go and be a doctor if you yeah. suck. Well, my well, argument, I mean, is... like, okay, right I'll, now I'll... you could probably get a grapefruit a BA. Okay, to but, Pepper's but, question, but no, part, part of that is the industrialization and commercialization of the college degree. Yeah, people pay thousands of dollars a year to go for college as tuition rises. Yeah. And uh, now it's, well, you got to pass them because they're paying us. They're the customers. Take that away and institute the actual rate controls again. And Xander, you're 100% correct. Other countries that don't have to be a problem, you test into college. If not, you can go to a vocational school, things like that. Uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. The fact of the matter is you're not going to get a living wage job without a college degree anymore. They don't exist. Well... <laughs> And even then, even if you have one, you may not find a living wage job. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You? Well, the reason that I don't consider... Well, this basically piggybacks off of what uh, what Boozy already said. But when people refer to uh, eliminating college debt or allowing people to go to state schools and... Um, what are I saying? Community colleges for, f- quote-unquote, free, is that... At, at the moment, the American dream that we are all sold kind of requires that. Like he said, it's that we're told over and over and over again that if you go to university and you get one of these degrees, you will have X life. You'll be able to buy a house and have a family and all this other shit. The, well, the, pe- the American pe- pe- dream. Pe- I've got. I'm going to interrupt you very quickly because somebody in chat it. said uh, the plumbers, HVAC mechanics. I got news for you guys. All three of those require licensing. Require some form of trade school. Require yeah. journeyman and apprentice stages. They're all regulated now. Definitely. They all require some form of training. And I represent a lot of people who are in voc tech programs, and it's not cheap. It's can cheaper I, I than university, my, but like, it's not free. Platform here, sure. really quick. Go for the it. Humanist platform is as follows: the reason you make education free, air quotes, the reason you comp the cost is that all of this shit is not a zero-sum game. The grand idea is the more people you educate and give opportunities to, the more you are evening the player, the playing field to essentially say people can roll the dice and the, uh, the people that have the luck of being genuinely smarter or better than everyone else, they're not crushed accidentally by debt or lack of education. You sure. never know where the next Einstein is genuinely going to come from. Yeah. That's a brain chemistry thing, not necessarily an education thing. The education enables the luck factor. That yeah, is absolutely. what we're going for. There needs to be some baseline of education that absolutely every single citizen is re- either required to meet or, you know, you know, given the best opportunity to get there. Some well, literacy well, requirement. That, like, the Koch brothers might have legislated out the person that's going to come up with the cure for the weird brain disorder that they have yeah, absolutely. that no amount of money is going to fix. Certain people that are excluded the from the thing. higher education community who could do great things, but they just can't fucking afford it. What, what was it What was it? a couple of years ago? Somebody was pushing a community college for free. That's Bernie. <laughs> that I, don't see wh- old Bernie. I don't see why not. No, but, but that, I, I don't absolutely see why fucking not. Now. Why, why yeah, not? A, get your There's genetics no out of the way. Reason. B, community colleges offer voc tech and other training. Oh, it's a good test yeah. to skill. Absolutely. Why the fuck shouldn't that be free? I'm okay, very glad so that Bernie's been pushed left. Topics. Yeah, I'm glad that Bernie's For been pushed left, time. but now he's saying, hey, y'all, let's just exclude, let's just forgive all student debt. 1.6, was it trillion dollars or billion dollars? I don't remember. I think it was only billion. I hope, <laughs> but he introduced a tax that it's would that, that would pay. Is it trillion? It makes more sense. It's trillion. Yeah, yeah. one point six trillion. But he introduced a tax based on capital gains that would basically eliminate it. Same thing with Andrew Warren, where her two percent ultra millionaire tax. Ultra millionaire meaning okay, it's a progressive tax. So if you make five hundred, uh, sorry, fifty million dollars. Or less, it doesn't even affect you. But if you make fifty million in one dollars, that one dollar, because it's a progressive tax, that one dollar would be taxed at a two percent rate. Meaning, if you make above fifty million fucking dollars, 
all of those dollars above 50 million would have an extra 2% tax onto it. It's a progressive tax. That does not mean that, oh, fuck, I better make $49.9999 million or we're all fucked. No. Hey, it's Pepper, everything Pepper, above that. You know that. what the worst part about that is? And that would is pay that for her program. Sell it on Fox News. That would, pr that would pay for her proposed program, not just once, but one and a half to two times, uh, depending on which, which, you know, which generosity of analyst you're talking about. So when they say, we're going to pay for that shit, yo, it's already paid for. We already know how it's paid for. And Bernie's basically adopted that, but he's changed it to be a capital gains tax. Capital gains, by the way, that's money that you get by betting your money on other money. That's stock money fucking nonsense money. That's basically, it's casino money. That's some shit they bid on and they happen to win. Capital gains tax. Alkali knows That's free all about money. That shit. Alkali's entire job is based on capital gains tax. I don't want to fuck over Cap uh, Alkali's job, but I believe he would still be okay with like his job wait, being wait, wait, kind wait. I of would. hurt. I absolutely would. Let's be clear: some <laughs> jobs should not exist in a good society. A, a, a lot of Alkali's job them. would go away, <laughs> which is bad. But I think. Uh, Bad for Alkali, but I think Alkali would agree with that, and he could still be just, you know, accountants will still be necessary. Here's the thing. <laughs> There's a lot of do-nothing jobs that we do just to, like, give someone a paycheck. Yes, and, and very big great. paychecks. These aren't minor wait, wait, paychecks. No, wait, wait. I'm going to do a grand theory. Go All for right. it. We're going farther with automation and uh, productivity per hour spent. At some point, we are going to have a population where the amount of hours it takes to sustain the population is less than the amount of people we have. What do you do? That is why universal basic income is a thing. We have less work that needs to be done yes. than there are people today. Absolutely today. there are. Today. Well, let's 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 specify if people don't know uh, someone predicted we'd all be have like work three hours 15, a week or something. Fifteen crazy hours a week. Yeah, there you go. Fifteen hour work week. That's basically well, if you just take data and compound it, our current productivity is insane compared to what they thought we'd be at. Like with, basically with everybody no working forty hours wage increase. No, no wage, definitely. Not a no wa not a wage increase. But we're working Look basically twice as hard for the same money. So you could, if you're being ungenerous, call that that we're, we should be paid almost twice as much as we're currently paid. People are saying, yeah, $15 an hour. Like, no, fucking $30 an hour. At like, least. Know, people are like, wages have increased. I'm like, look at the fucking chart, man. It's Productivity flat. is insane like, at the moment. Years. Productivity what is, is off the right, right, right fucking now, chart. Right now, what is the minimum wage? Uh, uh, <laughs> state by state, what, what 725 right? Okay, 725 You know the minimum wage was... Um, when I got hired, it was seven, it was five forty. Fifteen years ago, fifteen, 15 years ago, what was the minimum? <sighs> Shit, five. I got hired at uh, at five fifty. I don't know if that's fifteen years ago. I'm trying to remember. What are you gonna say, Boozy? I uh, yeah, I remember making like seven dollars fifteen years ago. Sounds about right. So that's I was hired point. at Servers it's Rage. Not even gone yeah, up a, a quarter a quarter raise in fifteen years. Guess it's, what? It's not the enough. rate of inflation it's is definitely bigger not than enough. that. You guys don't want to know my fucking salary history. Jesus Christ. Well, the chat knows. The chat is recognizing that at some point we are going to have more people than we need jobs. And we either have hey to guys. decide whether we're going to completely fuck over a massive amount of people. Or we're going to have to basically pay people for not do, quote unquote, doing anything. I mean, they'll still be doing things, but... We'll be paying them under what they're "quote unquote" worth, and I think that's a very important quandary for us. Like, what do we do? Do we pay people for doing less than what we think they're worth, or do we just decide millions and millions and millions of people just need to die because they are too poor and don't have the "quote unquote" important skills that we need to provide them with Pepper. money? Are there no I'm work houses to send wait, wait, them wait. to? I'm gonna call you <laughs> Talking out over each other, drink. Thing. There is genuinely a third option. And yeah. that is the case. And if any of you are interested, the, the television show is okay on this topic. The book series is way better called The Expanse. And Earth is at 20 billion. And one of the things is called takers. Yeah. That there are so many people, you don't have enough room for everyone to get into med school or science or exactly. these higher, higher, higher educations. So the idea is 
people can just live because there isn't room for everyone to do the higher productivity things. They yeah. actually have a world where you have to earn your way into being productive, and that's okay. I mean, that's a society like we to have to accept the existence of. Because, well, that, that's the fucked up thing. I think that should be the goal. This is a, I'm, t I'm stealing a stand-up comedy bit. But I think one of our goals should be to get to get our employment rate to basically to as close to zero as possible. I mean, if we can if we can automate most of the jobs we currently do, most of the bullshit jobs we currently do, if we can automate the cotton picking and the grain producing and the you know making bread and shit like that, if we can automate most of those jobs, why can't we make this into some kind of you know Star Trek utopia? Why dude, do we have dude, to go dude. for Standard absolute mind. hell? Space dude. socialism! Yeah, Sp gay space yeah. communism is a thing coming. Okay, hold on. All I on. want is TNG, so, baby! <laughs> hold on, this is a real thing. I have a tweet somewhere where I saw basically like half my job automated. I'm not even kidding. Yes! I, Xander, I can, all right. I, hold on, hold on. I am very good at making realistic animations relatively quick i had done a lot of my i worked on saints row one i worked on a lot of stuff i can crank yeah. out a realistic animation within a relatively amount of time this showed you can uh, teach a robot how to do a trick incredibly easy with video and uh i'm not saying this is like coming tomorrow but that's like half my job so yeah, uh, i believe it. a fun thing wait so one you worked on saints row one two yeah at volition oh and one Holy were shit. you were you the dildo bat <laughs> that no, was what saints row three the third s2 dino oh, dildo no. bot the first thing i i worked on was some weird fat ho sequence that was fat ho scene. fat ho so p-h-a-t-h-o-w h-o-e fat ho which isn't great now that i look back at it but you know whatever <laughs> okay the dildo bat was three erner would like to Fucking point that's, out. That's the that's the good thing about my job is you can't automate my job. Well, that's what I thought no, about my dude. Robot lawyers are going to be a thing. Just wait. That's what I thought dude. about my previous job. Uh, you you find you find a robot that can argue convincingly. Somebody who stabbed a hooker to death should be like Joe because his mother was. What the fuck did I just rejoin to? God, Boozy, damn it. are you fucking willing to go to the? Uh, Arizona State Assembly of Teachers and argue that I should be able to continue to teach because I'm a faggot? <laughs> or, yes. Uh, yes, you yes, I am. Are you I ready for that, boozy? That. You pro, pro hawk me into Arizona, I'll do it in a heartbeat. Fuck. Okay. okay. Well, all right, all right, now all right. the burden's on As me, isn't it? We've been doing this for a while. <laughs> I am going to be that person because I am too drunk. Uh, yeah. This has been... Democratic politics, hooray! It has been. If you want to leave now, uh, now's the time. Yeah, hey I'm Dragor. We've got Xander Puppet. We have Boozy Badger. We have QM or had QM running around in back and some various spawnlings. A baby head better than right in the dick Coyote hole. Who put this on for us? Thank you. Can I do a quick, quick, quick message? Please do. Yeah, yes. do it. If, if this has demonstrated anything, it's that politics is chaos right now. Yes. Nothing is guaranteed. Go vote. Definitely then vote. Please. Please. Anything. None of these fuckers do, are guaranteed anything. We're, we're, I definitely thought that was. I definitely thought that was going in a different direction. Nothing is guaranteed. Burn the fucker down. You have nothing to lose but your chains and a world to win. Workers of the world unite. <laughs> we can have Star Trek where the only genuine goal in life is personal fulfillment. Come on. Get on this fucking train. Star Trek didn't even have a Maybe form of currency. The billionaires is all their money. Hold on. Hold on. What's with this idea now that, like, you need to work to have purpose? What is this shit? I hate this so much. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I uh, do. It, yeah, it's a very... I do know what you're Republican if, if you love your that's how most of our existence has been. The people yes. that do the get your hands dirty thing were the biggest contributors to our species surviving and evolving. And we are now at a point where that's not necessary to our survival anymore. So guys, Xander, guys, to our on. thing. Go I, ahead. I have a counterpoint. 
I pulled in a, a uh, middle class wage working on the Iron Man 2 for the GameCube and was utter shit. And I knew it the entire time. So that's like my that's like half my life. That's like 70 per five, 75 percent of my life is like 75 percent right, of your life. Shit Genuous. Games. Wait, 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 wait. Shit games. How long did you work on this game? <laughs> Look, look at a half, motherfucker. That's not what, what are you it. two? That was seventy five percent of your life. <laughs> I, I, love, I love this. Uh, I made a really bad game for money. <laughs> for do you want to know the shit I do for money? <laughs> guys, Uzi, guys. Pepper, Xander people, already knows. People this. work okay, crazy so. hours for really yes. long time. It was okay. shit. Z Xander, wait. Okay, so genuinely. I Give me a dollar. For the Chicago Pepper Coyote Mercantile Exchange. Dot me. I worked for the futures and options trading platform, the biggest one in the world. Good. And I am one of the people that is directly responsible for enabling algorithmic traders to go faster, which is a grand wealth redistribution scheme to the 1%. I have that in my history. I am directly responsible for making that work better for them. Totally. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. And sorry. I got paid a pittance. Five pittance. digits. And it was good to me at the time. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. What, Pepper? I have to pee. Would you like to continue this okay. conversation while I pee? Boozy. I'm also not the most, the, not the least Pardon? inebriated, uh, uh, in, uh, know. you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> BRB, I'm going to take a hit off the old, you, uh, you, you know. Wanna, you want to you wanna die drive? Oh, I got a die drive for you. you Trump, uh. set, Trump has set or nominated somewhere in the area of 100, or is getting ready to nominate, somewhere in the area of 138 federal judges. Those are lifetime appointments. It doesn't matter who wins in 2020. Our judicial system's fucked, and therefore they can interpret the laws, say whatever they want. We're all fucked. We're screwed. One of the worst things to happen to this. Boozy, anything? I, I lost half. I, I said I Havana is the worst stuff. thing to happen to this country in a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, they're nominating federal judges that are like five years older than I am. And these people are going to be on the bench for 40 to 50 years. And they're going to determine the interpretation of all laws passed by Congress for that entire fucking time. They'll die on the bench. It's just that simple. But Boozy, no one, ta no one pays attention to that, so it doesn't count. Of course no one pays attention to it! Just like climate change. Anyway, sorry. Blarg! No, I, I've accepted at this point that, like, most people don't give a shit about climate change because most people are going to die before it affects them. I'm going to be an old man and be, like, some gimp uh, at 80 years old for, like, <laughs> the water lords. So that'll be... <laughs> Fucking Xander's gay speedboat. Fuck yeah. If I'm lucky, I'll have a gay speedboat. Are you kidding me? Well, it's Zantopia. like <laughs> the SS Gatopia <laughs> upon the open waters. Come It'll on, be like water world, except with more leather. Water rolled with more Dude, leather. There's so much leather. Hit cat. He's a he's drinking that pee and not for hydration. Hold on, we're off automation. I gotta kill the robots. Moore is trying to come here, to tell me to do things. I am pointing at him and saying things. I think my my symbols may have been misinterpreted. But I would like to say, hey guys, more, here's, here. a, here's a good more, here's here. a good political stance. Where do you stand on alkalized beard? Alkalized beard. I like alkalized beard for the most part. It's I wish alkalized beard as much beard as I do. More, I come you out here. Were alkalized beard. I am Damn. alkalized beard. Look. Gaytopia is mm. more like a gay version of Zootopia. Straight tail asks question mark, and I'm like, definitely, because that way the porn only increases. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, just being honest. Xander, my opinion on alkalized beard doesn't matter as much as yours, because it's not rubbing up against my asshole each night. Kissing a beard is weird. I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm going to mute all of you and watch a very leftist video. Sorry. 
Do you think my very leftist video should be about the police or something else? That's too much, man. I can't do the police. I don't even want to do this anymore. I'm sorry I even brought it up in the first place. <laughs> hey, Pepper, let's do a video on the police for your first. I, <laughs> no, not mine. I'm talking about other people's polices. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. It's going to be bad. What the fuck did I just miss? You I just came me. to, I don't think Zootopia porn can increase. Whoever said that is like 110% no, it, wrong. No, it definitely could increase. There's nothing that could stop it, really. The speed that the furry community crank out porn for a given subject is amazing. It's mind-shattering. What about the speed the furry, <laughs> the furry community can crank to What was that? Oh God, attach a, attach a turbine. To the elbows of furries looking at Zootopia porn, power crisis solved. Absolutely. Power crisis solved. Oh my okay. god. Are, are we done? I think we're about done. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we're there. We're I done, love guys. all hey, of Thanks you. for hanging out. Uh, Holy yeah. motherfucking shit. We'll be back tomorrow with basically the exact same thing. Except Boozy may or may not be getting nut checked by his own son. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'm so not. glad someone else's nut pain wasn't mine for once. I have no sons, therefore no nut pain. Do you want more? I've got one extras. You drive into, Pepper. <laughs> if you would like your child to be raised by me, by all means, mail them to P.O. Box 115, Glendale, Arizona. <laughs> you won't even let me send them to your house. Just send them to the box, I'll pick them up and Yo, I'll be there eventually. <laughs> Eventually, okay. Boozy, if someone donated to you a mask and a tank of oxygen, would you actually do it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hope you all enjoyed this for whatever it's worth. Oh my god, I hope you enjoyed this. All right, good night. We're saying good night in five, four. Okay, we're buying. Bye. 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 <laughs>